Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. I call you the King of Zion. Call you the Lord of creation. It belongs to you, the earth, and all the inhabitants thereof. Lord, we will never be tired of acknowledging your Lordship. We thank you. We bless you for the privilege of wisdom, for the privilege of access to the mysteries of the Spirit. Lord, tonight we have come to know, to grow, to hear you speak. We pray that your voice will be clear. Speak to us, O King of Zion, and cause our ears to hear that which the Spirit wants us to hear. We pray that you will reveal the mind of the Father to us. And I pray that we will rise, we will rise, we will rise. In the name of Jesus, we declare that our spirits are receptive. There is the hearing of faith and the working of miracles. And Lord, we thank you because burdens are lifted in this atmosphere. The sick are healed, the oppressed are delivered. You will give direction and hope. And Lord, every prophetic word needed to change every life and every situation it will come expressly by your word in the name of jesus hallelujah first chronicles chapter 12 keep standing please keep standing first chronicles chapter 12 and i want us to read verse 32 i wish we can have this projected first chronicles chapter 12 It's a privilege to stand and minister God's word. It's a privilege to bring to us understanding. Are we there? It's projected. I just want us to read the A part. Are we together? Can we read? One to read. And the children of Issachar, which were men that had understanding of the times, to know what Israel ought to do. There is a relationship between understanding and the quality of your action. It says they had an understanding of the times and they knew what Israel ought to do. Not just that they acted, but they knew what to do. We are here tonight gathered so that God will grant us the keys that will help us know what to do. Many people are acting, just taking actions that are not producing results. It's one thing to act, but it's another thing to know what to do. He says the children of Issachar, they had an understanding of the times. Then they knew what Israel had to do. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. 
Light me, Lord, like your candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. It's a prayer, not a song. It's a prayer, not a song. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord, like menorah. Light me, Lord. Light my life. Light me, Lord. Let me know what to do. Pray. Pray from the depth of your heart. Let your light swallow up my darkness. Light me, Lord. 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 The Bible says, they that stumble, stumble in the night. There is, there is no way you will stumble once there is light. Are we together now? Yeah. The Bible says, the eye is the light of the body. It says, and if your eye be full of light. Right? If your eye be full of light. Then, paraphrasing now, it lightens your path. But then if your eyes be darkness. There are too many people stumbling. I don't just want to start preaching. It's important to know that our hearts are prepared to receive. You see, this song that we just sang right now, it's not, it's not a special number to just make you feel emotional. I tell you, it's one of the greatest cry you can pray in this season. The Bible says the spirit of man is the candle of the Lord. But the Holy Spirit is the light upon the candle. A candle is useless. Notice the way the candle lights. It keeps burning the wax. And then the light keeps coming. So the treasure in that candle is hidden inside. Are we together now? Without a fire there cannot be light. The greater the burning of the outer sphere of that candle. The more it gives illumination. So I want you to sing this song with understanding. Father there are. I, I confess ignorance in my life. But light me. Are you ready to sing it from your heart? Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Like a candle. Light me, Lord. Light me, Lord. Give us illumination tonight in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. God bless you. Just turn to your left and right. Generously greet someone. Night me, Lord. Hallelujah. One of the blessings of walking with the Holy Spirit is the capacity to develop your discernment. Discernment is the spiritual quality of perception. It's the ability to perceive not just the origin of things, the spirit that engineers certain things, but also a perception of thoughts and a perception of intentions. With... Uh, discernment works almost like mind reading you are able to pick signals are we together now that's why i led us to read that scripture it says the sons of issachar had an understanding a perception of the times one of the secrets listen one of the secrets to a life of victory is the ability to move as the spirit is moving 
in the revelation of Ezekiel and Daniel had the same revelation it says how that the cherubs everywhere the spirit moved they also moved the secret to a life of victory the secret to a life of triumph is to do what God is doing is to go where God is going because anywhere God is that is where his life his power his victory his glory is concentrated if God is going to the left and you are headed right you are in trouble if God is going right and you are headed left you are in trouble it's important that's why we pray and that's why we create an atmosphere of worship because among other things we want to build discernment the capacity to understand the speakings of the spirit for every season hallelujah and um, God has been helping us we've been bringing teachings already that I believe are very very applicable to our lives and in line with the word that God has given us this year tonight I want to share on something powerful this message is very personal to me especially in this season because I have seen the let me borrow from the words of God's servant Bishop David Oyedepo I have seen the capacity for sweatless triumph on the strength of what I'm about to share with you but then I have seen how difficult the life of a man can be if you do not have this let me digress for a minute or two to reiterate something that I believe has been an anthem in this place. It's important to know what spiritual growth is. Because that's why we are gathered here. Spiritual growth first and foremost is the ability to conform experientially to the image of the Christ. Conformity. Conformity to the image of the Christ. The second character of spiritual growth is the ability to sustain an ability where you accurately comprehend the mysteries and the secrets of the kingdom. So, I can know whether or not you are growing spiritually by seeing to what degree you are conforming to the image of the Christ, one. And then the second point is... I want to see how you are living your life I want to see how you interplay spiritual laws like a chef in a kitchen with raw ingredients but can give you an assurance to be patient for two hours and within those times he or she is working out something mixing the ingredients with intelligence and knowledge and after two hours sometimes what he or she is mixing will even change color they they know what to do and then they bring out a beautiful combination and it blesses everyone you are not a blessing if you do not understand the secrets of the kingdom you cannot be a blessing men rise in this kingdom through secrets we rise in this kingdom through secrets our business in this kingdom is the ability to trade secrets the secrets of the kingdom no matter how you brag about being spiritual if you do not know how to handle the secrets of the kingdom to produce the results that are required you are wasting your time and you will eventually get frustrated no matter how confident you sound now and what a joy to have a ministry and a platform by his grace that can afford us the opportunity to rise to a point where we understand the secrets of the kingdom this is what we teach every time and tonight you're about to learn one i pray that you not only add it to the list of the mysteries you may have had and are not using but that you pay attention to it because it may be the one key that is required in this season to bring prophecy to manifestation hallelujah can you pray for one minute and say lord open my eyes open my eyes open my ears
Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Tonight I'm teaching on what I titled the gift of men. The gift of men. Ephesians chapter 4. The gift of men. I want to share with you and unlock to you a mystery behind strange breakthroughs the mystery or a mystery really not just a mystery but one of the kingdom secrets that controls what i will call a quantum leap in a man's life hallelujah i want to share with you a mystery that is responsible for the sudden explosion in the life and destinies of individuals businesses ministries and all of that please pay attention the gift of men ephesians chapter 4 your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world and i will forever Your spirit opens to me the treasures of your world. I will forever sing your name. I will sing. Of the wonders of your world. Out for joy. I will sing of the wonders of your world, and I will forever seven and eight Ephesians four seven and eight. But unto every one of us is given grace according to the measure of the gift of Christ. Wherefore, he said, when he ascended up on high, he led captivity captive and did what? Gave gifts unto men. Those gifts are not talents. Those gifts are not the gifts of the spirit. Those gifts are people. When he ascended up on high, he gave men to men. There are men called gifts. Are we together? The gift here is not anointing. The gift here is not talent like word of knowledge. No, 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 no. Not at all. Not at all. When you read all through the context of Ephesians 4, you never see the mention of anything anointing or gifts of the spirit. Uh-uh. He gave gifts unto men. Where is your own? Because the Bible says he gave gifts unto men. And he says anyone who has that gift will come into a level, a stature, he calls it. Are we together? He gave gifts unto men. Fast forward all the other verses. He says to the end, because of those gifts that we come into the fullness of the measure of the expectation the stature of Christ meaning there is a gift I must receive there is a dimension of the operation of the spirit I must receive in men to be able to rise to that level please pay attention Everything on earth today happens because of one single entity called man. The wars in the world today happen because of man. The peace experienced by, nat by nations have been brokered by men. Listen to me. The poverty that we experience in Africa and other parts of the world have been caused and have been sustained by men. The wealth and abundance that have been experienced in our world today have been engineered by men. 
the economic system that our civilization currently runs on was designed and is sustained by men the policies that govern the progress or the slavery of individuals and territories were carefully decided upon and prepared by men the only reason why there are still human beings on earth is because there are still men the reason why there is hatred in the world is not because there are animals it's because there are men the only reason why every other thing works you say i'm a real estate mogul no land does not give anybody money people love the land so the land becomes expensive everything revolves around men please pay attention i want to share with you a powerful mystery koinonia is running today not because jesus is lord but because there are men the radio station thrives because at the other end of the broadcast there is a human ear not an animal ear not a monkey or a dog ear a human ear to listen there is an armed robber planning to rob today and his mission looks realistic because of the existence of men how come the entire civilization of mankind run men, yet we never study them we study clothes we study oil we study every other thing but we never pay attention to men let me show you a wise man who did what we should be doing psalms 8 hello madonna psalms 8 hello madonna David was called up a man after God's heart. Listen, it was not just Solomon alone that was wise. David was very wise. He said, Oh Lord our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Listen, who has set thy glory above the heavens? Read on, please. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings thou had ordained strength because of thy enemies, that thou mightest steal the enemy and the avenger. Three when i consider the heavens the work of thy fingers the moon think about it which thou hast ordained for what is man that thou art mindful you took your time to create everything for him you created the sun the moon you put protection you made sure plants produced so god there is what is man what was in your mind when you were designing this entity called man that even you god will not rest why that is all god thinks about in heaven do you know god does not think about his glory i know what he's thinking about now man think about it sister if you are aware a brother has been thinking about you from morning till night i think it's a cause to smile that shows you are valuable what is man that thou art it didn't say brain full mind full your mind is full right what's that song he will not suffer my food to be moved I carry your presence everywhere Who am I? Your mind is so full of me Lord, tell me awesome God. So what is mine? He never say who is man He's not talking about the personality of man What strategy did you design that you called man? I know his personality but lord what is the use of this could you not replace him with something listen read the bible god has replaced many things with many things but god has been unable to find a replacement for man 
to an extent that no matter how bad man was god will come and say we will fix it even the man himself after helping them he still preserved others there must be more in this mystery called man you know what is in a bank that's why they protect it you know what is in the earth that's why we put nmpc to guard it but we do not know what is in this entity called man what is man i put it in a better way what is in man that thou art mindful of him can't you just waste them away and build another species lord are you are you so dull after you created man did you lose your sense of creativity why do you want to so fix him why can't you just replace him can't you put a mind in chairs what is man that thou art mindful of him not the son of man that as glorious as heaven is you are not comfortable so you come to visit him to an extent that you make that man your temple that man your temple your temple it's like donald trump coming to live somewhere at the back of this place and he says believe me you cannot get the joy and he said no 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 i mean you have everything you need let's sing that song again god we are we are, we are flying this night he will not suffer my foot to be i carry a present everywhere Jimmy, Moses had died when Archangel Michael came to carry his body. Lucifer also came wanting the body. The guy had died, they were fighting over the body. What was in the body? Don't just say it's your spirit alone that is important. Listen to me. What is in this body? that jesus is interested in satan is interested why do demons look for human bodies what in a body L listen listen what what happens to them when they are in a body you must understand this i will show you a mystery that will change your life we look for oil and ignore men we protect oil wells and leave men think how foolish we are we put fence around lands but leave men and ignore them and kill them and burn them and we want to move forward the psalmist said i have already considered the ground i consider the oil fields <clears throat> i consider the sun i consider uh -uh. i i found out your attention is on this entity so god please tell me what is man that you are mindful of him if i have a safe with a million dollars and i'm hiding it if you touch any other thing i won't say anything but if you are coming here there i'll be shifting back that's how it is satan noticed every other thing he touched god didn't bother but the moment he started coming to man his attention batters that man and then jesus himself came and walked upon the earth they asked jesus why did you come he said to die what kind of assignment is that went to the cross and the people he was dying for were not even repentant yet he was not angry there is more to me and you i will show you something today that will make you never hate any human being i will show you something today that will make you see that your prosperity is in the hands of man what is man the most abundant secret to our blessing moves around us every day yet we we can trade it a thousand times to look for oil we can trade it a thousand times to look for whatever it is we protect things more than men we would rather kill men than kill things if 100,000 people die, listen, 
and Nigeria's oil field is protected, we think we're still all right. Listen, I want you to think about this for a moment. Just imagine that everyone at the same time in the world falls into a state of coma except you. Listen, do we have intelligent minds in this place? Imagine that not death, everybody simultaneously, 7.2 billion people, enter a state of coma right now except you. Let me tell you what will happen to you. I know. You will first run to the bank. You will find it open. By the way, you will enter the safe and run to a mall. No security. No nothing. No plane. No more terrorists. No fear. Where are the demons? They are no longer interested. You search for them. Every dark corner does not make you afraid again. So why did it make me afraid? Man. Man. The only reason why demons have something to do is because man is still alive. So, brothers and sisters, I want to ask you again, what is in man? Don't you think this calls for study? This thing changed my life. I'm playing with your expectation before I begin to teach you. What is man? When I consider the work of your hands, when you see a man designing something, you want to know what he wants to put there. When I see you building a house, I want to know the kind of thing you want to put there. Then you finish building a beautiful house, lavish money, and carry a little gold or a little baby or a dog and put in the house. I know that that is a dog plus something. Maybe that dog, you are hiding cocaine in that dog. I will tear that dog and find out why. Are we together now? Jesus shed his blood many times men will cry even for themselves to die listen listen have you tried to fix things fix things and it didn't work what do you do you try to fix a gas cooker again and again it doesn't work God doesn't throw it away now it's a mystery I wish I had time I would have shown you something a prophet saw that just like a shepherd comes to rescue a lamb he gave us an analogy in the book of Hosea. I think it was Amos. Amos now. Right? That a, a lion ate a lamb, ate everything. He only left two legs and one ear. Two legs and one ear. Yet the shepherd fought the lion and recovered the two ear, the two legs and one ear. When I read that scripture, I said, ah, if you come and you see a lion devouring your sheep, and intestines have been eaten only one ear and two legs is it worth fighting for and yet the shepherd fought i preached a message years ago with that because for as long as you can have ears to hear the creative word of the lord and two legs to take a step of faith you can get everything back again it's the mystery of restoration the most important part of that sheep the lion did eat it what a foolish lion it ate every other part and left what can bring it back. The lion would have eaten the ears and the legs and gone away. And you would have finished that animal. Because if you still can hear and you can take steps of faith, then all hope is not lost. Let's go to our discussion tonight. Please sit down. Everything on earth, I said, happens because of man. The demonic oppression happens because of man. There are more angelic activities on earth right now than human activities. All because of man. If God were to open your eyes in the realm of the spirit, you will see myriads of angels dispatched and sent because of man. Every business succeeds because there is a man to provide that value and there is a man to patronize it. Is that true? Those of you who do businesses on campus, you know that holidays are very bad times for you. You don't like it. Why? Not because the building moves. Are we together now? To an extent, Ejimi, that you can ship a consultant from India, bundle him like a package, and bring him to a hospital just to perform an eight-hour surgery and go back and pay him millions. Yet you think he is worth it. Hallelujah. What is man? 
that thou art mindful of him. I have spent my life studying and learning the mysteries of the kingdom that control the results that we desire. I still am at it and I do it passionately. I'm like a spiritual archaeologist, if you would um, permit me to use that word because I strongly believe the, the secret of the future is in the past. There is something we have long forgotten about that holds the key to a glorious future. And so I study a lot. And when the Lord began to teach me the mystery of men, um, I just felt it was very important to teach us. Now, when you consider the personalities of men, listen, you're talking about the psychological implication of men. You can have people who we consider to be extroverts, people who we consider to be introverts and etc. That's not what I'm talking about today. I'm not talking about the physiology of men. I'm not talking about the psychology of men. I'm talking about the spirituality. The very spirituality, the spiritual significance of having a gift called a man in your life. Notice every time there is the coming of a man into another person's life, the Bible calls it an advantage. When he created all things, when he made the woman, remember, he said, it is not good. So another body comes into another life. And the Bible says that person's life should not be the same. I, I'm just using marriage as an analogy. He said, he that finds a wife, he never said he that finds oil. He never said he that goes to school has done a good thing. He never said he that, he that if you can find another human being, then he said there is a friend, another human being that sticks close. He gave gifts to men. The Bible was speaking about the patriarch Abraham. And he said, Abraham set out on his journey as instructed by God. And then Lot went with him. He never said Lot helped him. Lot just followed another man. And Lot's life started changing. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? Let me show you the implication of men. The Bible records that there was a man called Laban. Laban. And then Jacob came to the house of Laban. And over a span of about 10 years, Laban's entire life changed. Is that true? The Bible speaks about a prophet called Jonah. On his way to run away from God's instruction, entered a boat where there were other men. And certain strange things started happening every time someone died they started calling for the appearance of a man and a man appeared and then something happened have you noticed every time men entered an atmosphere they, they made certain things to happen men men when Gehazi was troubled he went to meet a man are men really important when they were hungry 5,000 people they found a loaf five loaf two fish from a man and took it to meet a man even when the donkey spoke he spoke to a man please I want you to pay attention because what I'm saying will bless your life forever that means if I ignore men I am ignoring something more than a personality. I am driving out a realm of reality and possibility from my life. Listen, listen. If I ignore men, in fact, in ancient times, when kings had men, they were called wealthy. Not just because they had an arsenal of people to fight, because sometimes the people were not skilled. But in the multitude of men, is a king's honor the multitude of men is a king's honor every religion fights for men kings of the earth fight for men 
the only reason why they fight for territory is so that it can accommodate more men are we together when a man meets with his wife they give birth to another man why is god interested in another man when satan tries to afflict a woman with barrenness what is he trying to stop what is he trying to stop he's not trying to stop joy no he's not trying to stop peace there are people who are happy without children why would satan take the issue of men personal when moses was giving birth to mm, listen moses was giving birth to a decree listen they said they should kill all not animals men in this case the masculine uh, gender but then men when jesus was born the same thing happened again kill men what is in man oh god that you are mindful of what am i missing the last person i drove away from my life what did i drive away i'm about to show you why is it that the bible even says a born again spirit filled man for treating another man in his life called his wife the heavens will close over him and his prayer will not be answered i didn't steal i didn't kill i only did something to another man that was not good yet heaven responds to it this entity called man brothers and sisters has more than just a personality if all you look at is just two eyes two legs and a personality you will cheat yourself listen 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 let me tell you certain things about men number one men in themselves are not perfect ignore this because what i'm about to show you will be stopped when you are when you don't take away the you know the 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 effect of some of these things i'm sharing men are not perfect in themselves you may meet foolish men in your life you may meet all wise men in your life however it still is not in enough reason to just throw them away they may be holding certain things that i'll be revealing to you shortly are we together for some reason god hid his possibilities in men he didn't hide it just in buildings he didn't just hide it in territories but the consecration of the possibilities of men he hid it the possibilities of god he hid it in men he made man the highest of his creation men are not perfect in themselves number two the attitude and the behavior of men good or bad good or bad listen to me does not stop your receiving what they carry the attitude of men good or bad does not stop your receiving what they carry elijah was an angry man yet he was used to change the life and the stories of people you have to listen to this let me say the third thing that i want to say about men Are you ready for this? There are certain possibilities in men, listen to me, that predates even their salvation experience. Please listen. Predates their salvation experience that can still be received, whether they are born again or not. You have to understand what I'm telling you now am i just am i saying people should remain unbelievers no but i am saying there are certain things that god has put in men that can be received whether or not those people are born again or not if an old woman causes you whether as a witch or as a human being the fact that she has lived long enough certain possibilities have been opened to her to be able to speak over your life are you getting what i'm saying now yeah all through
through scripture every time children cried god had children every time read your bible every time children cried there was a response from the earth to heaven that's why i say out of the mouths of babes and sucklings thou had ordained Are we together? Your destiny and my destiny are men dependent. Write this down. This is a very serious point. The your destiny and my destiny, the fulfillment of it is highly men dependent my prosperity is man dependent the quality of the work god has given me the quality of your church your ministry your life is man dependent the quality of your life on earth as a believer and as an inhabitant of the earth is man dependent Your success and my success in life are highly or is highly men dependent. Evil on earth is men dependent. The advancement of the kingdom on earth is men dependent. The fulfillment of prophecy on earth is man dependent god can speak the bible never told us in the prophecy he said a virgin shall conceive a woman aligned herself with that prophecy otherwise jesus would never have been born he never said mary no a woman chose to play that script it just so happened that the name of that woman is mary it was said he would be buried in a virgin tomb he didn't tell us the owner that was somebody's business that was his property it so happened that the man who fulfilled that prophecy was joseph of arimathea he said how that he would be betrayed but he never said by a man called judas the prophetic word of god listen has been hanging over the heads of many people because the men to make it happen are not available or they have come and we have driven them away please pay attention occultism thrives through the availability of men when the devil wants to destroy a family there usually will be an envoy an individual an entity whatever it is men are more powerful than mediums you can keep a charm in a house but the most powerful charm is an aligned human being who has agreed and said satan i donate myself to scatter the life of these families are we together my assignment is tonight is to help us to open our eyes to the mystery of these gifts that God has given us that we throw away from our lives around called men and watch the unlimited possibilities I call it a quantum leap that your life there is a, a quantum leap is a jump not just a movement you move from one phase of possibility to the other because of the presence of a man hallelujah there are four implications of the presence of men in your life and i want you to note this number one the first implication of a man coming into your life especially sent by god is the coming of wisdom ideas and strategies the only entity that is able to convey wisdom ideas and strategies is man 
every time a man shows up in your life wisdom ideas strategies wisdom so when i drive a man away i did not just drive a personality that's why i said dot not wisdom cry it personifies wisdom because wisdom moves in and through men are we together now the conveyors of strategies and ideas and wisdom are men every time you are ready to move in a, to another dimension god sends a man and if you have the discernment that man can represent the strategy for the next level that man can represent the wisdom for the next level that man can introduce the idea for the next level many pastors many businesses many individuals are grounded because they think men are just black entities in clothes no every time you see a man coming to you in your state of misery begin to rejoice and begin to discern what is this man what is coming to me it's not just a human being with a mouth to speak are we together when you order a product from conga or jumia they have their pack is that true no matter where you buy it they rewrap it with their own pack and every time you see it sometimes it could be a surprise when you see it you start laughing because you wonder what is inside whether it is big or small you want to see what is inside the next time you see a human being come to you especially sent by god in a prophetic season you must begin to rejoice because that person ignore the personality this is what i'm teaching you when you look at the personalities of men you will drive all your miracles out of your life there are times you have to ignore those personalities and discern i've been fasting three days lord what is the key to the next level then a man comes men are the vehicles that god uses to transport wisdom and strategies wisdom and strategies implication number one pay attention to what i'm teaching you wisdom strategies let me tell you i think shortly before koinonia would start when we we're still meeting that time at the back of chapel in the abu campus here one night the lord led me to do something i just told everyone we're not so many maybe three four hundred or so then and I told everyone please can you write don't write your name just write out whatever suggestion that you think can make this ministry rise to the next level that's your assignment just write it and drop it in the basket brothers and sisters my life changed koinonia entered another a quantum leap when i began to read some of the things that were written i was shocked man bringing with them strategies do you know the answer to your prayer is not far from you you just don't have the eyes to see let me tell you god is not wicked i have learned by experience that every answer is closer than you think it is shrouded in a man the secret to your financial hardship somebody is walking with the answer and he will walk and pass you walk and pass you walk and pass you even be encouraging you while you are crying but because you have not discerned that men are the conveyors of strategies men are the conveyors of ideas men are the conveyors of wisdom i've had people help me solve problems in life and i've been surprised not at the solution they brought but that they are the ones who brought it and I started saying, I mean, so why did I start going around? I mean, you were here all the while. Has that happened to you? After going around, looking for answers, talking everything, it is your roommate while you are discussing in the night. You say, have you tried A, B, C? And that's the end of it. Men convey us. Solutions disguised in human beings that we push away and never rise to the top every time you pray and you see men coming into your life pay attention there may be men who have annoyed you every day of your life but on that day they are sent on that day they are sent who gave naaman 
the secret of his health i know we clap for elisha but it was not elisha the bible says there was a little slave girl correct a slave girl meant that she did not even have the rudiments, the education and the training yet listen it was her that told naman he said I, I i know i'm a slave but there is a man of god there is a man of god i want you to meet when he met the man and you know doing his big manism she she's the one who came and advised him and said see he didn't ask you to go and bath in another dirty water somewhere and naman washed seven times and the bible says his skin could it be that since 2013 you would have risen but god kept answering your prayer and you kept rejecting the answer god give me strategies and all of a sudden he said please get out this way we are talking serious things here said, i had a little dream i saw you i just wanted to share shut up don't tell me anything i'm not stupid i'm a, i'm spiritual a small girl like you and you threw away your answer the person only humans can dream dogs don't dream forget all that junk you hear from sciences only humans have the faculty and the capacity to dream a dream is a mystery is one of the access points where we receive revelation from the realm of the spirit only men can dream only God knows how many times you have dreamt the answer to someone's prayer yet the person drove you away I'm not talking of false prophecies and, and nonsense where you keep harassing everybody you keep seeing things about everybody's life not your own life I'm talking of quality God inspired solution that has a track record of results that we all appreciate are we together men number two What is the implication of a man in your life? Endorsements and opportunities. Men are the conveyors of endorsements and opportunities. Listen, if no man can endorse you in this life, you will never rise. Paul, the apostle, a man approved, endorsed, when they produce a drug they say this drug has been endorsed by the nigerian dental society brush with it and your life will never be the same or whatever it is that that is the advert are we together now the endorsement whenever you are in doubt when you see that endorsement listen we trivialize endorsement companies have entered million dollar status overnight because of endorsement people have gotten admission with whatever it is because of endorsement i was talking with one of our people here who had been trusting god i think for a change of faculty or something and um you know the guy was discouraged and then i told him i said he should meet our daddy prof you know just to help him out and he said he i saw him i think it was just last week or so and he was telling me he said everything is settled though he said in his presence they were driving everybody out but immediately he entered and they saw the signature they said come in is it prof come in it's called what many carnal people think it's not spiritual you need endorsement it was john the baptist listen this is a secret many rising ministers don't know somebody who ends the loyalty of the people must speak for you otherwise the gate will not open the gate will not open show me the man speaking for you show me who has authorized listen when a man endorses you he takes his sacrifice and puts it for you to cross with many believers lack endorsement many businesses lack endorsement many individuals lack endorsement there are many people who would have gotten jobs if only someone can say this and that and that by the privilege of god's grace that he has granted me i have endorsed people with just a statement a one minute phone call turn them to millionaires one minute phone call Oh, I know this person. I can vouch for him. Help him. Benny Hinn was at almost at a state of financial bankruptcy one time. 
they were going to cancel the crusade because he did not have enough money he needed 10 million dollars in three days 10 million dollars in three days an anointed man like benny Hinn, please pay attention benny Hinn was you know making the program challenging the partners to come and you know when the accounts department their back office were looking nobody was really contributing and the holy spirit told him to go and bring oral roberts he carried oral robert and brought him the old man came and sat on air and they had only three minutes can you imagine three minutes to the end of the program do you know what Oral robert said he said benny is in need please help him in less than 24 hours they raised about 15 million dollars everybody say endorsement don't joke with what i'm telling you i'm teaching you a powerful mystery that you will need promotion many tongue talkers sit down everywhere because they do not do you know why i'm teaching you this i'm going to tell you the responsibility so that when you see a man that can endorse you no sacrifice to maintain the relationship becomes too much because you understand the implication of that person's reputation to your destiny all this unnecessary anger with everybody because you think you are the god of yourself you will stay poor and broke and you will lose in life endorsement 90 percent of the ministrations that i have gone to by the grace of god have happened through endorsements one pastor endorsing this someone saying i came for koinonia listen to this message while they are saying that i'm probably sleeping or gisting with somebody i pray for someone tonight in the name of jesus christ the voice the voice no, any listen not every voice can lift you not every voice can lift you the voice that has been accredited is the voice that can lift you and i pray for you in the name of jesus the son of the living god may that voice speak over your life yeah. hallelujah men imply the presence of endorsements and opportunities pastor alpha called me i think when was it that yesterday i was in abuja and he called me and he said apostle do you know anybody who read civil engineering there is a job right now as we are talking for the person no interview no nothing and all he wanted was who is who is there I mean, so that we can give him the... I said, Kai, I don't know anybody in my mind. Let's come for Koinonia. After, maybe the person is here now. As you are here, you are saying, praise the Lord. And I help you answer hallelujah because that's it. It's done. Someone's life changed overnight. How many people after service, they were just going out to trek just like that. And somebody gave them a lift. And while discussing, they said, ah, what do you do, young man? He said, sir. You know, I'm just moving around. I said, how can you be moving around? What are you doing? I'm not doing anything. Come to my office, take this card. And they thought maybe the office looks like just a small fish pond and another building. And they enter the office and they say, sorry, this person. And it, it keeps getting access until it gets to the man and he says, well, I'm the managing director of ABC. I'm the Nigerian representative of this. Let your life change. Can men change people's lives? <laughs> you, are, you are a big joke. Look, let me tell you. Some things are not demonic oppression. Some things are childishness, which have been caused by lack of orientation. Sometimes we need sufficient adults to tell us how some things work. You know, all this childishness people carry around. I don't need anybody. You need, oh. You better change that talk quick. I don't need any man. Are you joking? Man, what is man? that thou art mindful of man is a conveyor of endorsement and opportunity are we together that's why we work at making every service a great experience for everyone because everyone's experience is automatically an endorsement of what we represent I have gotten things without paying for them because of endorsements brothers and sisters i'm showing you a simple secret that will change your life forever 
the bible says they know not neither will they understand they grow up in darkness and the earth is out of course people have received partnership in their ministry overnight because of an endorsement i've had the privilege i remember one time a particular pastor somewhere you know i, I don't raise money raise funds and all of that but i went to the church and i you know i saw the project they were doing and when i you know said everything i said by the grace of god um i want everybody to sow a seed for this project just jokingly do you know the pastor would call me like two three weeks later he said in all they have met they have prayed and they have fasted him he was saying Ka, apostle you are really anointed i said no 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 in my mind it's not just the anointing it's a track record listen listen don't wait till you create the same track record you, you will you will time time cannot wait for you leverage on someone else's sacrifice The condition that was available to create that track record by another may not be available for you. Are you sure what I'm saying? I know lecturers, and I say it with all humility, and it doesn't mean you should meet me after the service, but I know lecturers that I have called and said, Sir, please, so, so, so has met me that there is a problem in your department. And this thing is going to affect him. Ah, my apostle, how are you? You are even calling me. And I say, sir, please. I'm not saying you should uh, do anything, but please, sir, can you look into this issue? And the person will just come out and say, I passed, I graduated. It's only me that knows what happened between me and the other person. May someone discuss your rising, even when you are sleeping. That when you are, while you are sleeping, someone is saying, look, do you know Sam? I know how he will rise. Come on now. Listen, those who understand this never get stranded. No, sir. No, sir. No, sir. There has to be somebody to speak. The voice that speaks for you is the ladder that you will use to climb in the destiny of life. You don't pay attention to what I'm telling you to be at your peril because someone is receiving already the answer. This is how God will bless men in this season. That's why I tell you, when God says it's a year of triumph, believe him. It doesn't take time. It just takes the right voice speaking for you. Hallelujah. I have entered offices today. I have no business entering it because of the endorsement. Endorsement. Who has endorsed you? Man of God, I know you are anointed, but you are sweating all around with posters, flying everywhere and saying, please invite me, give me 30 minutes. I will no, no, no. You don't have to do those gimmicks. Who around has had the credibility and is willing to endorse you? Hallelujah. I will never forget one, one of our ladies when she was preparing to get married. When she went to meet her mother, her mother said, I don't have anything to tell you. I don't even know this guy. Just go and meet apostle. Whatever apostle says. Think of it. Leaving somebody's destiny in my hands. I called the mother. I said, mommy, this guy is a very nice guy. She said, apostle, you are saying that? I said, yes. From that day, there was no ch challenge again. Lord, raise somebody to speak for me. Or raise someone to endorse me. Raise someone to endorse my business. Raise, some, raise someone to endorse my life, my destiny. There has to be somebody to speak for you. Listen, let me show you that Jesus, immediately they gave birth to Jesus. Where did they take him to? The temple. There were two men that endorsed him. Are we together? Immediately they took him. One prophetess called Anna had been there praying and fasting. She lifted him and began to speak. And then Simeon the prophet began to speak. When John was among different people, when John saw him, John said, Behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. In the presence of everybody. Somebody must speak to you in the presence of everybody. Don't be angry that men are doubting you. You have not done anything to bless them. Why should they not doubt you? Listen, listen, let me tell you. Do you know, I say this with all humility. There have been people who by the grace of God, they started out in ministry and the church was not growing. 
the ministry was grounded and all they needed sometimes they just call and say man of god please so many people listen to your messages in this region you are not here you don't have a branch me i'm here you know i love god and these people never come to my church and then they make arrangement and the day i'm going for those meetings some of those churches don't even have plenty of people but they have multiple overflows those times why because somebody that the people believe in has appeared are you hearing what i'm saying now and then the moment i speak and i say oh this is my a, a, a pastor friend a great man a man of integrity i love him with all my heart and immediately it looks like a one second or five seconds talk but the members just say i found my pastor since i can't come to zaria i found the person that can represent him that's why sometimes people foolishly carry my picture for meetings that i'm not coming they don't care whether i say yes or no they just start producing the posters in advance first because they think it's endorsement sometimes it doesn't work but when you have a man truly who can speak for you brothers and sisters i don't see the witch or the wizard that will tie you ladies have married cheaply because someone recommended them brother i've been praying honestly there's this lady i've been looking ah no 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 this lady is a blessing i tell you if it's this lady you are sure of joy and peace in your life whether in plenty or in lack and the brother says I've, I've, my prayer has been answered a few months later they are married but do you know the same way people's destinies have been cut short somebody was about to rise but a bad talk from someone brought him down they were about to give him a job he said don't give this guy a job he walked with me he's toast cement. He, maybe the guy has repented oh do you know paul had to do this for onesimus it's in your bible accept him i know he was once so 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 and so but now just accept him there are people here all those who know you knew your yesterday you have repented today you need a fresh voice that will tell people this is not Saul this is now Paul because the, the, the predicament of being Saul is destroying your breakthrough who today must speak and say no 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 this guy was an armed robber but January he repented are you hearing what I'm saying some of us our past will never let us go they know that you used to be around following every man yes that was your past but now you are born again and jesus is lord of your life yet all the people in your life are people who knew you 1997 so the moment they see a responsible godly man coming they call and say kai um you know david Dam, i wouldn't have told you it's just because you are my brother this is not a good choice I command every voice that speaks when you are about to rise the moment there is consultation among your destiny helpers to to lift you there are voices there are pastors today that should not be begging for bread partners wanted to sow into their lives but somebody said i saw his poster with a and b's poster and immediately over 70 ministrations cancelled just because somebody recommended you badly i pray any voice in the name of jesus that has been speaking even against your destiny i silence that voice right now shout amen i silence that voice right now i silence that voice right now please sit down sit down hallelujah cheap victory because a man showed up quantum leap because an endorser showed up There are pastors who their destinies have changed overnight. A man of God they invited somewhere could not make it. And he would just say, please, can you go and stand for me? That was a meeting that their level of grace and experience should not take them there. And they stood there and they did well that day. After the meeting, there are seven or eight pastors. And they say, sir, please, can you come to a, for a meeting? Can you come for a meeting? Etc. Etc. There is no meeting, brothers and sisters, that I will go for that afterward, somebody from that meeting will carry the wondrous works of God to another region. This is how we have grown as a ministry. This is how we have grown even financially. 
the blessing that has come from people are we together now i remember someone one time sewing into the ministry and he said that him i think he's a critical person he hates men of god many men of god are fake they are not serious but when he listened to my message and his mentor he, he had his mentor whoever that person was listening to my message he just said no we'll be sowing into this ministry every month i tell you every month he sows a seed to koinonia and a seed to my life do i know him i have only communicated with him on text but endorsement don't trivialize what i'm saying endorsement someone you are selling products and you are doing retail whereas a hotel somewhere or whatever needs your product in wholesale but they don't trust you and you will not be given the opportunity to prove your trust you will only be given the opportunity to be trusted based on somebody who already knows you who they believe and someone will say some and say, ah, listen if he's a mecca eh, i can tell you he will deliver your chickens every time if he does not deliver it just take it at my risk and all of a sudden they will just sign it and instead of selling one one chicken somebody will come and say it's two five you say we'll give you 700 and all those arguments for hours just to buy one chicken you will start doing wholesale delivery your life has changed music artists how many music artists have been suffering as if god didn't call them beautiful voice but no voice to speak for you beautiful voice but no voice to speak they only invite you if everybody they invited is busy then they'll say sorry honestly this program is in three hours I, are you free just come and cover our shape you need a voice say i need a voice, I need a voice. say i need a man yeah, you need the coming of someone in your life to speak for you. What opportunities have you been given? Were you given it or you looked for it by yourself? Are you seeing the secret to hardship? Where you have to look for everything by yourself? Who has called you to say there is a big opportunity? I cannot handle it. But here you go. Like whoever is going to get this job now. There are times they've invited me for almost every invitation that we honor there are a few others we have to turn down and there are times in my spirit i have felt led to lift certain people and i call those people and say i'm sorry i can't come their heart is paining them and i say no 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 no. but this person cannot call but i know someone i can recommend for you do you believe me ah apostle we believe you we have been praying okay invite us so and so he will bless you case closed I don't want my life to be hard though the bible said the way of the fool is hard wisdom that voice that must speak in my life this has been my prayer i'm sharing with you my secret prayer lord who is the person everybody is buying land they say there is no land it's a lie it's just that all the important people have bought it the day you come they'll say please so so said they should give him land i've shared a testimony here that i heard years ago um, and I will reiterate it very quickly. Someone who wanted to, um, I think, get admission in NDA. And then the, the required height level. The person did not have that required height level. And, you know, military people, they are very serious. Well, that's it. He returned back to Zaria and then met the Emir. And the Emir sent that they should go and tell the commandant. They should go and tell the man that the emir has added the height of the person mm. who is adding your height in this wicked world listen this our world is fierce and wicked who is adding your height when people stand and conspire we must destroy benga we must make sure he does not rise. Who is the voice authorized to stand and say, no, not this? I will show you why doors don't open. Because the truth is, I want to admit this with all humility. Many of us are already prepared for the next level. But we don't know the endorsement is the key that we need. The truth is, if it's music artist, God has honored this ministry with great people. If it's intellectuals, there are some of you seated right now one endorsement i remember a gentleman who came here 
um, some time ago, a medical doctor, and he discovered um, something. He, was, he got the patent for um, reproduction of something to reproduce a particular device that can check, I think it can check your heartbeat and whatever without taking blood from your body. Very smart guy. He came here. And I told him, I said, please go and meet our daddy so that they will connect him with Professor Nock and like that and I think so on and so on. Like that, like that. We've not seen the guy again. I want to believe that God has lifted him and I pray that it is so. I made up my mind that every voice that must speak into my life, whatever price it will take, I will pay to secure the endorsement of that voice. It's not human worship. Hallelujah. Ora Roberts, help Benny. He's in trouble. And all of a sudden, somebody's prayer point becomes a gift. Hallelujah. There are men of God who just... Do you know there are certain stages, even ministerially speaking sincerely, if God grants you the privilege and the access to stand on that stage, as far as ministry is concerned, God has helped you. There are certain individuals, if God has given you the privilege to see, God has changed your life. Endorsements, opportunities. Number three, what is the implication of the presence of men? in our lives number three what is the implication of the presence of men in our lives access to financial and material resources write it down access to financial and material resources part of the fringe benefits of the coming of a man into your life access to financial and material resources listen listen every one naira every material resource you pray for is currently in the hands of a human being right now praise the lord every land koinonia will ever buy in any nation of the world is currently in the possession of somebody now every transfer that you have been fasting for into your account there is an entity holding it now like this the money for your house is in somebody's account so when you start building a house it will not fall from heaven transfer will be made transfer will be made transfer will be made human beings there are human beings that are generous enough to change your life listen koinonia hear me it is a false understanding to believe everybody is greedy there are absolutely benevolent human beings. Your own price is to win their heart. You can go to bed. Hallelujah. And Lot went with him. He didn't say, and Lot believed what he believed. Lot just walked with him. Hallelujah. Do you know that someone was sharing a testimony somewhere uh, I think it was a lady or so that was sharing a testimony somebody she knows they were walking along a path a road and then the person was quite a senior man and then he met a very big man and he was greeting the man and whilst he greeted the man he gave the man you know the person she was walking with now that stranger rich stranger gave some money and looked at her and said ah young lady he decided to give her something too just like it was not even counting she said when she counted it she found that it was 50,000 just because she was working with who think of think of your prayer point disappearing simply because you are working with the wrong person it's the same way you can be working with somebody and you check and find out ah, I left my house with 500,000 now I have 12,000 what happened the presence of someone took something away from you access to financial resources your money is in the hands of men please believe me your money is not just in the hands of business you can sell anything you want to sell it's a human being that will have to buy it for you to be paid men can bless you for no reason you must believe this dimension exists that a man can just bless you 
has had the privilege of blessing people in a lavish and a generous way for no reason i don't even know some of them hallelujah let me share a testimony that will bless you i share these testimonies to encourage our faith i came back from abuja this just this evening just coming here now and um yesterday in the night i decided to take a cab just to go and get something to eat before returning to sleep and while i got there my my elder sister came to give me a surprise visit and we chatted for a while and then you know saw her off uh, on my way returning i asked the man i said how much is your bill probably because the man saw me buying things for my sister and the rest ah you guys say oh guy anything you give me i said no no please don't tell me all those things just you, you are working you are working with intelligence what exactly how much is your money and then he mentioned okay x amount he said oh guy you know i told you i have three children because i asked him i said oh you have children how many children he said three i said you're a hard-working man you know we're talking on the way coming i said i like you you're a diligent man striving to make sure you provide for your family and then when he asked me how much i said no but you know that's not the price so how much is the last price then he now told me the truth he reduced it by some amount and the holy spirit ministered to me he said i should take whatever was in my pocket everything everything that was in my pocket i don't know how much but it was it was nothing less than twenty-five thousand. he said take everything and give the man as soon as i draw from the car i said mr man you do not know me but go and tell your lovely children that you met a man who decided to bless them make sure you take care i removed everything i dropped it the man was afraid ah this is, i hope this is not blood money and etc 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 i just dropped it and said okay this is where i'm highlighting god bless you until i entered the man was shocked that's the kind of experience that is i didn't know you will answer me this way there are such occurrences on earth i'm giving you an example that's somebody's prayer now it may look like it's 20 or 25 thousand or whatever i know it looks small to some of you but that's the same way it can be 200 and something million the same way it is that trivial the same way it was there are obedient people let me tell you there are people who pack out of their house and give you if god said it but if they have not had god you can be dying they will look at you like this there are people who the voice of god is their trigger but to get that voice of god you have to invoke this and say oh god let let send this man this man has what it takes to wipe my tears financial and material privileges accessed sim, not through intelligence and business acumen through the understanding that men can do this i started doing something some time ago i don't do it again when i go to get fuel whoever is before me no matter how much he wants to fill his tank i pay for it i just said i'll do it as a seed if i go to get fuel and you happen to be before me whether it's a bucket you are carrying as long as it's within my capacity i will sow into and i've done that and i watch the joy that it, it, it produces in the life of people watch this one time i re i remember i think it was one of this was it salah or something like that a, a, a man came and I saw him bring out 200 naira. Ha! The wife was at the back of the bike. Just, he even just put one leg down and opened that this thing. Just, it's as if you just press the thing and take it back. How much with 200 naira fuel? And I looked at him. I said, please fill the tank for him. The man just turned. Ah, he was greeting me. I said, fill the tank. When he finished, I just waved. I said, madam, bye-bye. You know, this and that and that. And the man just looked at me. Do you know why I'm doing this? One, because I love God. Two, I am activating the same thing because that's what I want in my own life. I want a situation where one day somebody says, Joshua Selman, I hear you need a house. This I hear you need five acres of land for koinonia. Take. I hear you need joy and peace. I believe it. Oh, if you like, don't believe it. I believe it with all my heart. It's not laziness. It's a provision that is in the kingdom. How many people have gotten free house they are not in ministry one day somebody just said come and escort me and they are sharing houses and you just got your own and left quietly and ran out of the town just quietly got a lawyer and said sign this it's called prepared blessings prepared blessings 
prepared blessings that's what god is getting ready to bring for us in this season prepared blessings where you will wake up in the morning with a text and you check the text and all of a sudden a man sends you a text wanting nothing in return i'm not talking of bribe look at this many of our parents some of you know that i'm telling the truth they are brilliant according to their level of sacrifice they should be working at the the highest echelon of the government but today nobody can speak for them there are many people who should be legislators doing very well nobody is speaking for them there are buildings houses that should be completed but there is no help because you start on your own you are receiving 20,000 naira every month but you know one day you can just be passing and somebody will just look and say once in a while we just want to bless people and it just happens to be you dr mike mudok shared it a story one time how that i think it was his dad of blessed memory or mom they performed a surgery and it was about twenty-five thousand dollars the people had exhausted all their monies and you know the hospital just called them and said once in a while we like to do good things to people just like charity and it happens to be you i was told about a woman of god in abuja today that went to a particular place and saw um it's like their chapel devastated she brought out eight million cash and said they should rebuild a house for god from scratch up i know a man of god in this country well not a man of god but a rich man the pastor had been shouting we need a tent all of you so we need a tent we need a tent let's beautify the house of god the rich man just kept quiet as if he doesn't know what they're saying one day the guy got up and bought a tent 25 million cash they brought it i'm mentioning these big amounts for a reason i want to stretch your mind because some of you will never believe it if you like say i'm talking about money no problem i know you don't need it but your destiny needs it <laughs> so you better pay attention in the name of jesus connection with men who can help you do you know sometimes all you need in life is just help you don't need advice you don't need suggestion sometimes all you need uh, you don't need help like spiritual help the direct need if you need a watch just sometimes case closed just that watch. sometimes what you need is financial help when Ruth listen when Ruth and Naomi when Naomi stood and was confused did not know what to do and Ruth said I'm not going anywhere with you do you know a time came when she went to the field and she saw them gleaning and Boaz said leave some what did she do just leave some there are there are blessings you will enter into this year that you too you will know that this one no is not me is purely the sovereignty of god and i stand in the name of jesus christ i prophesy it upon you as surely as the lord god of heaven lives may that come to you speedily may that come to you speedily everybody shout prepared blessings say it again prepared blessings mm. it, it it is true it happens where somebody just steps in and solves your problem directly i share with you a testimony those who just got admission in the school of ministry congratulations but you will notice that a supplementary list came out it's not in our culture to release a supplementary list are we together now someone spoke for the students a voice that i honor that we honor i supervised the supplementary list by myself there were three people that i honor with every esteem in my life and when three of them called me i said no 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 i'm under authority too bring all the forms of the students who did not get the admission you you were just sitting in your house and you saw an alert and they say congratulations but someone spoke for you why has it stopped why should it not continue in other areas of your life that somebody will speak for you you are just sitting you see an alert with a phone number and you call and say who are you you say we were discussing and someone mentioned your name it has happened to me it happens all the time 
in one minute and say Lord help us financial help us please ignore people who think you are wasting your time pray this prayer with faith Lord send help us the house of God needs help us my family needs the ministry of help us all I need at this point in my life is a genuine helper no string attached Papa Talakotaya no thank you for investment but what I need now is not an investment I need a helper a helper my family is about packing up I need a helper please don't joke this is your destiny this is a kingdom secret that can wipe your tears I cry for a helper the gift of men he gave gifts unto men he gave gifts unto men to the end that they be established he gave gifts to men that could be helped in the time of recession he is still giving gifts to men in a time of lack and want oh I believe I believe I believe I believe Jesus this is someone's breakthrough tonight I believe I believe I believe Must be paid through salary. Who said the helper cannot arise and wipe it? Who said the roofing of the house must be done by your savings? There is a God in heaven who can arise from men. Hallelujah. Please sit down. I tell you, my spirit is stirred with what I'm telling you. Many of you will thank me. You will see your lives change overnight. Don't mind people who think what I'm sharing with you is not making sense. I show you what can change your life. Brothers and sisters, is one of the biggest secrets of this work you see by the grace of God. There are few things in this ministry, let me tell you. There are few things in this ministry, few things in this ministry that are actively being paid for from the central house. Every week, every time, there is somebody rising to handle something. When we used to use other venues, there are people who just arise and say, look, I will pay for the venue. I will pay for this. How much does it cost to transport people all through after service? I will pay for it. Don't think it's everybody who must say, what will I get in return? There are people, whatever you want to give them, God has given them already. They don't need anything. They just want to bless you. What is man that thou art mindful of? Number four, what is the implication of the presence of men in your life? I call it impartation, access to impartation and the prophetic access to impartation and the prophetic why do you need men in your life their presence can guarantee you access to impartation what is impartation transference of grace for possibilities transference of grace for possibilities 
men move according to the kinds and the dimensions of graces at work in them no matter how you cry for God to anoint you if you ignore men you will never do you know look at me some of you all you need in your life is just that prophetic push prophetic push Bishop Oyedeko said every time they are busy celebrating winners and saying, wow this is how the ministry has risen they will just go to Papa Ia Deboe and he'll just lay hands on him and say you have seen well but a new level and that's the end of it prophetic push is capital it can bless your life it can wipe your tears one prophetic word I've shared with you countless testimonies here to the glory of God maybe I'll just review one or two remember the story I told you about the two women I went to buy sugar cane and two mama old women old women I'm not sure they could even speak English and they were trying to remove they were trying to uh, um, what they call it yes to remove the wrapper so that they remove the small money to pay for sugar cane and I said uh -uh, I may not have much but come on these are my mothers let me bless them and I just bought the sugar cane I don't think I spent up to 100 naira. I can't remember how much exactly and those women were so touched they were blessing me and blessing me and one of them said my son forever walk upon gold how can a woman who is trying to remove five naira she knew what she carried on her head listen don't wait for people's physical result to believe they have it you will be joking you may see a man with 10 members but he must have he can have a king maker anointing he can anoint you and you have a stadium full of membership if all you are looking for is someone else's result no some results are not meant to appear physically they are meant to be transferred and reflected in the life of another it's called a king maker anointing they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who anoint and throne and dethrone kings those of you who have kings in your village you know there are people who sit down with the kings they are called king makers they never become kings themselves yet they are the ones who consecrate kings Saul never became a king himself but he was the one who made kings and he was the one through God who rejected kings let me tell you there are people who carry graces they may not physically look like it they may not be millionaires but they never lack quarter to shame God will always arise that's a grace you need because all you need in life is not just money Bishop Oedeko calls it the grace of on time when things come too late they can kill you they should come on time How he got that anointing, he said he was a particular man of God. I don't know if it was Archbishop Benson Idahosa or whoever it was who, he, you know, sent him on errand, sent Oedeko on errand then when he was just starting and to show up at a particular time. And the person showed up fast and, and Oedeko showed up fast. And then the man looked at him and said, ah, you mean you came at the time? He said, from today, I impart upon you the grace of on time before a need arises. The supply comes there is such a grace now you may see people move they are not millionaires but they they carry that possibility the moment shame is about to come something must happen to change that result it's a grace impartation by god's grace we have lavishly received impartations in this place impartation I have received impartations i'm like a bee i'm a product of strange graces jesus himself being the chiefest of them all but there are human vessels there are men who have entered my life and just wiped my tears in certain areas impartation and then a prophetic push i told you prophecy is both revelatory and creative the more superior dimension of prophecy is the creative dimension revelatory dimension gives you faith and direction but when you get to the end of your road you need the creative dimension of prophecy where someone can look at your life and say look physically speaking there is no hope but in the name of jesus i introduce a reality an equation into your life i was teaching in in, in akure and i told them the anointing is the, is an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage it's an advantage prophecy 
this ministry you see there are constant prophecies being bombarded on our heads prophecy 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 where is the prophetic voice pushing you to the next level where is the prophetic voice that's why every time I minister here, I pray and I speak over your life from the depth of my heart. It's not just copy men of God. I understand the power of the prophetic. Second Chronicles 20, 20. It says, believe in the Lord your God, so shall he be established. Then it says, believe his prophets, so shall he prosper. In other words, don't believe them. And what happens to you? It says, and by a prophet... The Lord brought Israel out of Egypt and by a prophet were they preserved. The prophetic is real. Not just calling names and numbers, but the ability to speak realities into being. Taking an advantage of this mystery. The capacity to create things. Because everything that appears comes from the unseen realm. So a man can program your destiny through prophecy like an alarm clock. You can program an alarm clock to ring at a time. You see that? You program an alarm clock 327 and the clock will be quiet as if it's dead. 327 on the dot. That's how a man's destiny can be programmed. A man can shift a breakthrough that should happen when you are 49 to happen when you are 25. Prophecy. Prophecy can shift possibilities to and fro. You must understand this. By this time tomorrow, Elisha said, he didn't say God told me, by this time tomorrow, when he met the Shunammite woman, he said, what should I do to you? Should I talk to the king? He said, no, no, I live among my own people. What should I? He said, well, we don't have a child. Hear what he said. He placed a time. That's one of the ministry of the prophetic is to place a time for your miracle because the clock must ring he said to appoint unto them that morning zion to appoint so something that would have happened next year they take it and make it happen next week it's a superior dimension of the prophetic a woman will be coming here i'm sure one of these days to share her testimony she sent a testimony that touched me now this is not the first time we're getting these testimonies but they are very powerful i don't have time to look for it in my phone but i will tell you she said, I think we were in a program. I don't know which of the meetings now, whether in Yola or whatever. Yes, they were part of those who uh, were in the welfare cooking, cooking for us. And I always pray for all those who cook, those who drive me and cook for me every time I go for any meeting. Now, I prayed for the woman and according to her, she said, I told her that, what do you want? And she said she wanted twins. And she said it jokingly. And I said, in the name of Jesus, may the Lord give you twins. Nothing really happened. She got pregnant two weeks after that time. That's the first news. This is a woman that had been barren. And, but when they checked her, there was only one child. Glory be to God. That's all right. At least I'm happy that I'm pregnant now. And she said just like, um, I think, maybe a month ago, they went back to check and there were twins. Twins right there. You see that? She sent me a text actually because she started having some little pain like birth pains and they were saying most likely they will use cs so she shared that testimony and she was trying to encourage me to pray for her so she can give birth you know safely and then come and testify the creative dimension of prophecy that can place realities children just come through a man they come from god the moment mary said be it unto me she was pregnant it's just the body of the child and the genetics that come through the man. Children are a heritage from the Lord. He said, when he led captivity captive, he gave gifts to men. The question I want to ask you tonight before we pray is, have you received your own? Because the Bible says that he gave those gifts to the end that we attain a level. You have not attained that level, meaning you have not received those gifts. Have you received the strategies, the ideas, the wisdom? Have you received the endorsements, accreditations? Hmm. 
have you received financial and material resources i'm speaking to somebody from the depth of my heart there are testimonies i can begin to share with you now but if i say some of these testimonies that they are not it's not even safe for some of us because it may just push you through seasons you are not ready for but brothers and sisters let me tell you the truth anybody that tells you that god cannot fast track the life of a man is he joking look at my life look at my life i've heard of testimonies of people in this recession people have arisen and done things you cannot imagine one of the gifts that god has given me in my life i draw me to the leaders and the workers all the time is the gift of men the gift of men is greater than money the gift of men is greater than money there are some things money cannot do are we together listen if you labor on to death i've given this example here you labor on to death and you get five naira and somebody walks up and gives me five naira are, are five naira is the same no your sweat and your life was drained for that five naira it's, it's called the mystery of hardship when you work for everything you know we encourage diligence here but your lifetime is not enough for you to get every result by working you need an advantage and that advantage is shrouded in men not oil not real estate not banking men 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 who have you ignored in your life whose voice must speak for you in this season it's not that there are no jobs there are people getting jobs every time just like someone is about to get one now but who is speaking for you oh there are no contracts please keep quiet don't say there are no contracts with 7.2 billion people on earth are you joking there are no contracts there is no contract for you but there's contract but a voice can make it for you. Come and do a miracle, a miracle today. You will do a miracle, a miracle today. Listen, when you get into trouble, hear me, who speaks for you? There are some of us, it's not all about money. When you get into trouble, who speaks for you? There are some of us, if things don't work out in our lives, we are dead. There's nobody to arise and speak for you. The Bible says, valiant men came to David. They entered a covenant that they must make him king. Who is ready to die to see that your cause? You criticize a man of God and there's nobody to back him. No, sir. There should be somebody. No, 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 no. no. Don't say this against Pastor Femi. I love him. Are we together? They just said they ate some money in your office. You are about to be thrown out. You are in trouble. And you are innocent. Just because you are working in the accounts department. They are about to jail you. In the prison. In the, in the police station. There is nobody to speak for you. Before the law court. Nobody to speak for you. They are about to throw you in. Nobody to speak for you. Hapa. That's a life with no favor. That every time trouble arises, somebody will come and say, look, ordinarily speaking, you are supposed to do A and B and C to Emeka, but I come in. Have you seen people who when they are fighting, they come and stand and say, don't beat this person. It's better to beat me. Who can cover you like that? Politicians call them Godfather, God whatever. Brothers and sisters, we have ignored this to our detriment. One of the blessings God has given me in my life it's not just divine immunity and protection. God has raised men. I can tell you this. Men who will stand and they won't mind blood coming out of their bodies to make sure they protect my interests and what we represent. And I do not take them for granted, but I am grateful. I have been shocked. A man of God somewhere once said something that was not too nice about me. And I mean, that person, I, I didn't even know. It was when he apologized more than 100 people 
called him blasted nonsense out of his life and said God will punish you and punish you and join and punish you you mix every the baby and the bad water and think everybody it was something that was trying to show maybe like all these men those you you know you know what I mean now maybe if somebody put his hand in something that is ungodly time shall tell you know those kind of sarcastic statements and my goodness and I'm not talking of young people married women the person will say his testimony and blast the man and say are you stupid the man sent me a text he thought i knew about it honestly speaking it was when i got i said no 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 offense i don't have what why, why i mean i don't keep any offense what for can you have people like that there are men who can arise to cover your shame just because they know you they will arise and say no 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 i will cover your shame for you we have some prayers to pray this night if our parents had this they would not be struggling like this because every other person who has risen has exactly what they have educationally whatever it is no help no help no help you work hard you go to school almost as if you would die you graduate and your your certificate becomes like a toilet tissue nobody to speak on it the only thing there is the registrar's signature and life will look at you and say no i need another signature come on this is this is this is too regular show me another one you are praying and fasting but you need to start praying strategically don't just pray and say lord send angels yes angels are important but you need a physical entity moved by those angels there was a particular time they were going to this Paul was afraid of entering a city and God said no no don't be afraid I have many people there nobody will touch you I have many people many men there I'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this I'm tired of the status quo there's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. There's gotta be more, gotta be more. There's gotta be more than this. Listen, one of these four things will become your prayer point. I'm going to give us 10 minutes and I will not interrupt you. 10 minutes alone with God. You know what aspect. The Bible says he gave gifts unto men. Ask God, Lord, where is my own? Where is my own gift? Where is the man you have sent with the financial blessing? Where is the man you have sent, oh God, with the prophecy for my next level? Where is the man you have sent with the idea? Where is the man to endorse my life, my ministry? Ten minutes. Please, I don't know how you will pray. But the next ten minutes, instrumentalists help us. Cry before the God of heaven. And say, Lord, I want to receive my own gift. You are giving gifts to men. This is a real triumph. Triumph through the ministry of men. Spiritual exploits through the ministry of men.
gave endorsement. He gave recommendations. He gave access to platforms through men unto men. Through men unto men. Are you praying? Don't be distracted. Keep praying. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, him Adonai, thy kingdom come. In this season of triumph, oh God. Enough of delay. Enough of delay. Lord, I'm tired of struggling. One man away. One man away. That man must show up in my destiny. the Lord. Listen, listen. The Lord gave me a promise that when I teach this message, he will release radical breakthroughs to the lives of men. Believe this. You will hear of people's lives changing overnight. Overnight. If you have never believed a man of God in your life, can't you just believe for once? Doesn't your spirit bear witness that this is the key to what brought you here. Man, an advocate. Man. Listen, listen. He said they are taken for a prey, but none say it restore. They capture you, but there is no man to shout restore. Prayer point number one. Oh God, whoever holds the strategy, the wisdom, the idea that I need to experience triumph. I open the gates of my spirit and I receive them as gifts. Go ahead and pray. The gift, the gift of wisdom, the gift of understanding, the gift of strategies, business strategies through men, Strategies through men. One man can change your company. One man can change your business. One man can link you up with what ten years has not been able to give you. One man can open up the gates of ministry. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. Send that man, oh God. Send that woman, oh God. I open the gates of my spirit. 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 I receive them as gifts. Hallelujah. One man. One man. The difference between you and the next level. Prayer point number two. Listen. Father, 
I have the talent. I am ready for the next level. But there is no ladder to climb. The voice that must endorse me for the next level. I call you by prophecy. Lift your voice and pray. The voice endorsing my papers. The voice endorsing my products. The voice endorsing my services. The voice endorsing the hand of God on my life. I call you in the name of Jesus. Prophesy, prophesy. Prophesy. It's time to rise. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Somebody somewhere has what it takes to speak for you. Call them. Call them Koinonia. Call them. Call them for your family. Call them for your life. The man to endorse your marriage. The man to endorse access to the man of God who carries the grace you need. The man to endorse your business. The man to endorse your employment. Thy kingdom come, thy will be. Elohim Adonai, thy kingdom come. Pray, 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 pray with all your heart. Master's holder, I'm ready for the job. I need an endorser. I'm a PhD holder. I'm a graduate. I need an endorser. Lord, I'm a businessman. I have paid my price. I have done my homework. I need a voice, a voice to speak at the gate. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. If you are a parent here, yeah, everything you pay, you pray for yourself, pray for your children, whether they are in your womb or they are everywhere. I hear what I'm saying. If you are a lady here, as you pray, you lay your hands on your womb. You don't wait till you get married. Come on. John was filled with the Holy Ghost in his water's womb. You can speak favor to be waiting for that, 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 that child formed in favor prayer point number three you are going to cry now listen 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 i told you there is the sovereign dimension of god's will you are going to cry for help help don't cry for money lord a helper can come i call him to my life lift your voice and pray Mazataka parataka tokatesh. A helper. A helper. Are you praying? A helper. A helper. A helper. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. It can be this difficult. Bring a helper to make my life easy, oh God, so that I can have the time to serve you, so that I can have the concentration to focus on my assignment. Lord, I'm tired of financial distractions. Lord, I'm tired of material destructions. Send a helper to clear the way that I can serve you. Send a helper. Are you praying? Are you praying? Don't look around. Pray. Shaka taka ta. Leke te proto soto te te. E proto soto kota. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. A helper must show up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
the last prayer point Kai, I tell you I'm, 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 I, I feel the joy in my spirit for the prayers we are praying I know this prayer is doing something in the realm of the spirit the last prayer point I want you to pray this with all your heart you are going to cry and say Lord the prophetic push that one you can have it this night right now that one is available for you is up for you to receive you are going to pray and say lord the prophetic push that push i need that impartation that prophetic push for my ministry for my life for my family lord my family is in hellfire we must come out this night lift your voice and pray pray outside pray online pray wherever you are connecting from any nation of the world pray 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 your way to a new level pray your way to a new dimension pray your way forget this kingdom key it's a mystery that has been responsible for the, the mysterious rising of stars no father no mother notwithstanding they rose no education no experience notwithstanding they rose come on now life delayed and battered the enemy ate a major part of their life but in one year they recovered through men through men never forget this he gave gifts to men he gave gifts to men man of god i'm 45 years i've wasted my life don't worry one man one man can step into your life and answer the question of 10 years man of god my business is grounded listen listen do you know while the lord asked me to prepare for this message I was watching channels TV and I saw how that Eric L was about to pack up because they were in debt. It was so much and imagine a big one of the biggest airlines in the country. I love them of course. I know that there are people who work there who might be listening right now. And for me I felt so sad because I know how our administration depends on that airline alone. There are places only them can go and I started thinking I said my god that means there has to be another plan. And the only other plan can be chartered services. And all of a sudden, I just had that Amcon representing the federal government said they are too they are too important to let them crash. And they said, We are coming to wage you. I said, This is my message. This is my message. The federal government, how many airlines? I don't want to mention names, have crashed in our presence. Federal government waved them and said, you, you are in debt. But that a man is almost falling, and then a hand picks him. Listen, hold on. Please, I want you to pay attention to what I'm telling you. You see me preaching from my heart. Otherwise, we'll keep playing games and at the end, many Christians will backslide, Pastor Jakes. They will leave God. How many believers do you know who are not standing again? Because the reality of life, we said this thing many years. People insulted us and said we're noisemakers. Those people today, some of them are not born again. They are not even in Christ again. They've gotten into all kinds of things. Survival is a cause. You should resolve that issue and spend your life serving God. If you are a brother here, when I say pray, please pray. Pray. 
the sisters can join but brothers you must pray you shouldn't stand and just be leave any man of god thing and cry listen there are some of you as you are listening to me right now there are seven siblings or six who are waiting for you to take care of them you have your own mother you have your own father and I, how are you going to live that's the cause of depression and then god calls you into ministry no job you want to marry you want to move forward you you must be a joker you must access another mystery brothers and sisters you must trust god for a quantum leap tonight there is a grace there is a grace the name is a grace there is an unction that helps men and expedites their process in life the climate is too harsh for an average young man the probability for establishment is is almost like passing through the eye of a needle the factors are too many and we're standing here only because and we're standing here only because you made a way made a way when our backs were against the wall and it looked as if it was over you made a way hallelujah there are people here listen home and abroad their entire families are earning 200,000 but every week they are doing physiotherapy and chemotherapy for someone I heard of a woman 70,000 naira every week God is my witness they spend on is it physiotherapy or chemotherapy or something like that and there is no guarantee the person you see how the devil works until all your money finishes then the person will now die peacefully and leave you with trouble how many of you right now nobody to help you in your life lift your voice in one minute and cry cry for the help of god please koinonia pray pray hallelujah 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 prayer point number two listen listen i want us to break out of cycles tonight are we together i'm going to minister to you but there are people here you are seeing the patterns of your families reproducing themselves in your life nobody rises beyond the level go to school or not It's a pattern you must break don't watch it happen and say it's all right nothing solves itself by itself you must engage it with faith lord this poverty thing i've seen it in my family we are not lazy people but i'm seeing it come this lack of being serious with god lift your voice and break every cycle lift your voice and command exempt yourself Accept yourself. Are you praying? 
Hallelujah. Listen. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen to me. Listen. Listen. There are people you see who never last in marriage three years. No matter what happens, maximum three years. One nonsense must happen and scatter the marriage. Are we together? There are some of you, listen. The mysteries that destroy your family is men keep cheating you. Whether in business, whether anytime there is wickedness, you are the only one it happens to. It's not a coincidence. When they want to scam someone, you are the first they find. When accident is about to happen, is when you are crossing the road, the car will hit your leg. I'd like you to pray and say no more. I insist. I've been keeping quiet about this, but tonight I place a demand. Lift your voice. No more. No more. No more. It shall come to pass in that day that the burden shall be taken from off your shoulder. The yoke from off your neck and it shall be destroyed because of the anointing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points before I begin to minister to us. Listen. Hallelujah. Jesus said, Satan cometh to me and does not find anything of himself. If Satan finds what belongs to him in you, he's authorized to destroy you. We are going to pray and we are going to say, Lord, whatever legal access the devil has over my life and destiny, I apply the blood. I invoke the mystery of the blood. Lift your voice and pray. Legal access. I apply the blood. Are you praying? I apply the blood that speaketh better things than the blood of Abel. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood. I apply the blood on my children. I apply the blood. Pray on my husband, on my wife, on my business, on my ministry, on my job. I apply the blood. No divination, no witchcraft, no enchantment arising against my life shall prevail. standing keep standing everyone we are going to pray now i tell you i'm angry in my spirit luke 18 verse 1 please quickly luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable luke 18 verse 1 and he spake a parable unto them to this end that men ought always to pray and not to faint verse 2 there's something I'm looking for. Saying, there was in a city a judge which feared not God, neither regarded man. Verse 3. And there was a widow in that city. And she came to him saying, Avenge me of my adversary. Stop there. God is a God of vengeance. Listen, listen. I know that's the nasty side of God. But the God I serve is not only merciful, God, there are people who don't need mercy they need vengeance you don't pray if you don't believe it but let me tell you something there is a God of vengeance he said let God arise and let all his enemies be scattered lift your voice and cry Lord avenge I cry for your vengeance over the works of darkness in my life my family 
Koinonia pray. Arise. Righteousness and justice are the foundations of his throne. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against the wicked. Oh God of vengeance, arise. Oh God of vengeance, arise against evil doers. Arise against them that seek to feed on the flesh of your people. Hallelujah. Listen. There was a man in the book of Esther called Haman. Have you heard about Haman? That man was conspiring to destroy the agenda of God. Not just the Jews. The agenda of God. The apple of his eyes. And then the Bible says through a lot of activities. When that plot was gotten, the king sent and he said they should go and hang him he already built a gallow in advance in advance we live in a wicked world brothers and sisters let me tell you it's not all about vengeance but there is a dimension of it that is necessary if you must break through the wickedness of men is beyond imagination you are going to pray it again lord there are powers that have tied down my life and my family Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Arise, O oh God of vengeance. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. I was told the story of a woman, Pastor Jakes married a man that god had blessed and then the man died as soon as the man died strangers came from left right and center and told her you have no inheritance in this they stripped that woman to the last of everything banished her and her children to go men they will smile at you and talk against you in the secret and hope for tragedy to come upon your life so that they will rejoice in your pain no, you rejoice in my pain. The God of vengeance will arise for you. I tell you. Only a wicked man will see someone in pain and rejoice over it. He said, rejoice not over me, my enemies. Though I fall, yet I will rise again. How many of our parents were betrayed by their best friends? They lost their job because of someone they knew was the person who signed the check. Sign them off say destroy them the bible says a man's enemies listen 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 koinonia i know many of us are young people but let me tell you when you become a leader or when you become one who is in any position of responsibility you will appreciate this prayer there are men who will kill you and bury you smiling they will kill you and bury you smiling when judas came to kiss jesus a kiss is a sign of love correct yet a man used that sign of love as a symbol to an enemy this is the guy this is how you will kill him how many people kissed you into your suffering today they kissed you with a stupid advice and that's that's what has landed your life today they told you stop tightening. these men of god are crooks they have destroyed your life Are we together tonight i want us to engage the word to engage the word with your spirit if you insist brothers and sisters god will give you a breakthrough if you insist god will give you a breakthrough are we together now i want you to pray one last prayer and then i'll begin to minister by the spirit lord visit the root cause of my challenges I may not know what it is. I only know the effect. Oh God, go to the root. 
it says every tree the axe is placed at the root every tree my father has not planted Lord go to the root cause of the barrenness in my life the root cause as to why finances cannot stay in my hands the root cause Are you praying? Shabakata la bosu, rekete koto shobre yeri bala 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 bala. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. If after tonight's meeting you return with a testimony, nobody will ask you to run to the house of God. You will go by yourself. Do you know how many why many people never see God? The truth is they are tired of lack of results. They are tired of it. Jumping around doing all kinds of things. Yes, you don't love God just for results. But you've heard me say it again at a point in your Christian experience results must come as consolations to your serving God visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight in the mighty name of Jesus visit us tonight let me make an altar call let's start with the altar call first so that we'll finish right now please everyone standing no moving around outside your attention there are people right here everything we boast of is in christ if you are not in christ there is no guarantee please listen very carefully if you are not in christ there is no guarantee whatsoever are we together now so you are here we are talking about witchcraft you have joined us to pray congratulations but nothing will happen to you until there is a translation because when a man is not in Christ, the Bible says he's in the kingdom of darkness, the very domain of darkness. Are we together now? So when that prayer of salvation is offered in faith, there is a spiritual transfer. It is only on that basis you can challenge darkness. There are two cate categories of people very quickly. I'm going to make the altar call quickly. When you come, Pastor Jakes will lead you in prayer. And then we'll take over and fly tonight and trust God to take us to a realm where we will never return never return to this level in the name of Jesus you are here and you are saying man of God is as if you are just prophesying to me you are right it's you I'm speaking to and I'm going to make an altar call one maybe two three minutes wherever you are outside I know there are lots of people you are saying man of God can God forgive me yes he can can God give me a new beginning? Absolutely. No one has made it in my family. You will be the first. If and only you receive him. He says, as many as believed in him, even to them that, I mean, as many as received him, even to them that believed in him, he gave them power to become. Power to become. You do not have the power, but you have the will. And you can choose. Right now, I'm going to make an altar call. Whether you are giving your heart to Jesus for the first time, or you want to rededicate your life man of god i gave my life to christ but somehow things have gone haywire no problem you are welcome if you are outside run like there's fire on the mountain any of the overflows you are inside here you run out i will count one to five very quickly one run like there's fire on the mountain if you are thinking about it go back to your seat give jesus praise please clear the way for them there are people running outside let jesus christ step into your destiny koinonia can you motivate them appreciate them as they come don't let any friend tell you why you disgracing yourself shame the devil over your life tonight god bless you keep coming man of god you don't know what i've done just make that step of faith and come quickly run to jesus run to jesus keep coming Keep coming.
there are still more people there are still more people if you came with a friend and he's trying to stop you leave him alone and come run to Jesus Hallelujah. Please, every one of us in front, can you just lift up your hands? Lifting up your hands is a sign of surrender. Are you following? Please just lift up your hands and pray this prayer sincerely from your heart. Jesus loves you. I want you to understand that. Just say, Dear Lord Jesus. Say it out loud. I want to hear you speak. Say, Dear Lord Jesus. I come before you. I ask for forgiveness for my sins. I believe in the power of your blood. I believe in the power of your salvation. Forgive me of for all my sins. Thank you for new life. Thank you for newness in Christ Jesus. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm born again. My spirit is new. My heart is new before God. In the name of Jesus. Still lift up your hands while I quickly pray for you. Father, thank you for these precious ones. Thank you for the power of your blood. My Father, I ask even as their hands are lifted up, let your love, Lord, descend upon them. I ask that, Lord, the love of God will permit, the love of Christ will be shed abroad in their hearts by the Holy Ghost. Thank you for their lives, God. Thank you for writing their names in the Lamb's book of life. We give you praise. Thank you for the Holy Spirit that indwells them now. Thank you for the Holy Spirit helping them to walk in your ways, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for your glory upon them, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Hallelujah. Please just look at me. Just moment you turn, just in between the aisle, just you'll see somebody waving behind you. Please just follow him. We'd like to get your name, okay? Your name and some of your contact to get to pray with you. Hallelujah. God bless you. Precious saints, can we celebrate Jesus for this? Can we put our hands together and celebrate Jesus? Celebrate them. Congratulations. Congratulations. God bless you. Please. Let's attend to them quickly so that they can come. We're about to pray now. Hallelujah. We're about to pray. Before we pray, let me talk to two people. There's one inside, one outside that God is visiting their family. There's a mighty anointing that will come on them. One sister, a sister or so, someone inside and someone in the overflow outside. The power of God is going to come on that person now. God is bringing a strange deliverance. I'm seeing a strange deliverance. Bring the person one inside, one outside. I just want to speak to them. Please quickly. We have a lot to do tonight and we want to conserve time. Lift your hands. I want to pray. Just bring the people. Father, end witchcraft now in her life. In the name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare that the reign of darkness is over. Bring this lady for me. Free now by the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. Free. I'm going to pray for you. There will be a mighty deliverance right now. Listen, what is deliverance? Deliverance is not crying and rolling on the floor. Deliverance is by the power of God separating you from the spirits and the influences that are responsible for the challenges in your life. I'm going to pray for you. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. Thank you, Jesus. Wow. I'm already seeing in the spirit. Mighty 
especially today God is visiting visitors if you are here for the first time God is visiting visitors in a very strange way lift your hands don't say anything just lift your hands just keep your hands lifted please bring them just keep your hands lifted keep your hands lifted God is touching people it's a foolish instruction but it's what the Lord is telling me just keep your hands lifted like fire it's coming on people inside and outside bring them out God is visiting visitors 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 doesn't mean other people are not being touched but particularly visitors Father, spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Spare not your hand. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me pray now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I'm praying. There are men and women here right now under strange influences that has tied their lives, their destinies, in the name that is above all names whoever under the sound of my voice inside and outside if there is any spirit motivating the tragedies in your life as we shout that name jesus there will be an eruption of fire in this place and all of a sudden god will begin ministering to people are you ready now at the count of three one two they must go from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. They must depart from their hiding place. At the sound of his voice, I command every spirit, I command every devil, strange spirits tying down the destinies of men. I command you right now. There is mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. Mighty deliverance happening in the overflows outside. The power of witchcraft being broken. Being broken. Being broken. God is addressing issues of oppression. Oppression. Shakataya. It must end now. It must come to an end now. It must come to an end now. Lift your hands. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a handwriting and I'm seeing setback and then slash delay. That's what God wants to deal with right now. God wants to deal with it. You don't need to know whether you belong to the category. The fire of God will locate you right now. Father, I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost, anyone under the sound of my voice, shakata bakata, under the yoke of setbacks, whether you are a visitor, whether you've been here for a long time, in the name of Jesus, I command that spirit to leave you now. I command that spirit to leave you now. The power of God is touching people. Delay, 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 delay. You are a strange spirit. I curse you by the God of heaven. Delay in destiny. Delay in achievement. That spirit, I cost that spirit, I cost that spirit. Bring the mommy out. There's a mighty deliverance.
what's happening to her. Delay over your family. Broken, broken, broken. Broken by the Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord is giving me a strange instruction. Please, sisters, lay your hands on your womb. Lay your hands on your stomach. Something remarkable is going to happen here right now. There is a kind of deliverance God is doing. I don't know what I'm even doing. But Lord, I pray right now. This is not for everybody. But I am seeing the Lord is instructing that they lay their hands and I'm going to pray a prayer for you. You'll be surprised. Every stranger hiding in any sister's body that is responsible for the manipulation of their destinies in the name of Jesus by this prophetic instruction at the count of three release them now. One, two, three. Release them now. 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 Release their destinies. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Johnson. Johnson. I'm hearing a name. Johnson. 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 We are still praying, please. Johnson. My God. I tell you, I see this fire falling on sisters. I don't know what it is with ladies. God is, God is ministering a serious deliverance to ladies serious deliverance to ladies hallelujah hallelujah you are here in this place listen you never rise beyond a certain level it's not that you don't start please listen carefully i'm speaking by the spirit the moment is like there is a spiritual embargo you get to that height you must crash down wherever you are i'm prophesying now and i'm praying for you the power of god is looking for those people the power of god is looking for those people you rise to a level and fall you rise to a level and fall lord in the name of jesus inside and outside wherever you are i release that fire like a messenger to your life like a messenger to your life i cost that witchcraft now i cost that witchcraft now hallelujah the lord is showing me a vision my god hold on i'm seeing deliverance for children like little children the power of god is coming on small children in this place i'm seeing children being delivered some initiated into occultism some initiated into this let's just walk the way god is father in the name of jesus i speak to every little child in this place who is a victim of any satanic manipulation wherever they are don't be surprised if you see little children manifesting now wherever they are inside and outside i'm prophesying that the spirits symbols just the symbols please. right now wherever the children are 
I'm prophesying that the power of God will touch them. Touch them. I set them free from activities of witchcraft, occultism, any kind of initiation. If there is any little child here under any yoke of bondage, I set them free now. I set them free now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My friend, lift your hands. That gentleman going. Tap him. Hi. There is hardship in your family. And the Lord is asking me to cause it. Right now in the name of Jesus, I cause hardship. Let the anointing of the Spirit come on you now. I cause that spirit. The spirit of hardship. I curse you now. I curse you now. I curse you now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Listen, if you are here and you have any blood disease, just blood disease, any kind, any kind, blood related issue, lay your hand on your chest. I want to pray for you right now blood related issue genotype whatever it is um, or any kind of thing maybe any sickness that is blood related please I want to pray for you right now the Lord is giving me that instruction very quickly I want to pray for you I'm seeing a lady who is AS God is about to change her genotype now 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 a dramatic change of genotype from as to ss from as to aa by the spirit by the spirit by the spirit hallelujah hallelujah please If you come from a family where no one in your family is working, lift your hands. Nobody, no job, nobody. Just please, just do what I'm asking you to do. Let's save time. Just lift your hands. Nobody at all is working. No matter what happens, just lift your hands. I want to pray for you. Lift your hands. I want to pray for you, Jesus. 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 I'm, I'm looking at hands lifted and, and for some of the hands I'm seeing like a rope. This is not necessarily you. This is a representation of your family and I want to pray for you. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. Get ready for the power of God. Right now, wherever you are, even those who didn't lift their hands, I decree and declare that that yoke of joblessness comes under attack right now. Right now, right now, right now right now i release them i release them i release their jobs i release their jobs by the power of the holy ghost 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 we end joblessness here right now right now in the name of jesus hallelujah hallelujah the spirit of revelation is coming on 17 people. One, seven, one, seven, one, seven. At the count of four, this is the instruction God gives me. Unusual access to illumination. Lord, where are they? Inside and outside. One. Two. Three. Strange illumination. Four. Take it now. Take it now. The spirit of revelation on common access to the secrets of the kingdom. On common access. 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 I release it in the spirit. Access. 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 Hallelujah. Please make sure you receive every word that is coming every word come 
God is going to use you. Come, come and stand here. Lift your hands. Stand up. In the name of Jesus, I don't know you, huh? But an anointing will come upon your life today. And God is going to change your life like day and night. Receive that grace right now. Strange grace. Step into that dimension. That dimension. There are impartations going on now. Let's just receive the impartations. Impartations. Not healings. Not healings. Impartations. Impartations. I release the gifts of the Spirit. Right now. Right now. I release the gifts of the Spirit. Lord, stir up the fountain. Stir up the waters. Stir up the waters. I release the gifts of the Spirit. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange manifestations of power. Of power. Healing anointings. Healing anointings. I activate healing anointings right now. Healing anointings. Step into it. Step into it. Outside. Inside. Step into it. God is releasing mantles. Mantles of healing. Ancient mantles of healing. Ancient mantles. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Grace for barrenness. Healing barren cases. Hallelujah. Hold on. I'm still praying. I'm still praying. God wants to release the healing anointing. Let's just stay here with this healing thing. God wants to release. There are many more people. I'm not seeing them receive it yet. Father, you want to release this grace. There is such a grace as the healing anointing. I pray for you right now. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands inside and outside like a tornado. May the power of God come on you now. Everyone, everyone, everywhere, men, women, take it, take it, take it, fire upon your spirit. Hello, Himadonai, thy kingdom come, thy will be done. Hello, Himadonai, thy kingdom come. I don't know how we are going to manage this now ushers there is a prophecy for you the lord says i should tell you from now as you hold people and as you shake them there will be a transference on everyone usher i'm prophesying now that's why i say i don't know what we'll do ushers ushers receive that mantle receive that mantle a strange healing grace coming on our ushers supernatural supernatural the unction take it take it where you are let that fire come upon you upon ushers in a strange way upon ushers in a strange way the grace for the miraculous no longer will you just hold people no longer will you just welcome people as you clean the seats you release strange mantles. Hallelujah. We'll soon pray for the sick. But please everyone lift your hands. Lift your hands. I want to pray. I'm seeing people here. The anointing for business and entrepreneurship. Just keep your hands. That's why, please keep your hands. I want to pray for you. Don't say I'm not calling to a businessman. That's none of your business. Just listen to what I'm saying. I want to pray for you. It's a grace. It's a grace. I believe maybe in the course of the service, we'll call a Jimmy here to just prophesy that grace and release it truly, truly upon your life. Lift your hands. Brothers and sisters, there is a grace for the marketplace. You don't go there through desire. It's not that you are a money monger, you just go. But 
strange ideas strange insight do you know i'm seeing a number four and one 41 this will affect many people inside and outside whether you are a businessman or not is not what i'm asking you that grace will locate you where you are a grace for the marketplace lord in the name of jesus inside and outside all the overflows online anyone here who must step into that grace whether you know anything about the marketplace or not take that grace now take that grace now i release it supernatural access 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 to business strategies access to ideas take it right now receive it receive it it's coming on people receive it receive it receive it is coming on you so that you will go and prosper 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 there is a woman one of our mothers this grace that i'm talking about is coming on you now now one of our mothers one of our mothers is receiving that grace God is releasing that grace whether you are inside or outside whoever it is I release that grace now there is a woman I'm seeing in the spirit you must take that grace now you must take that grace now on common ability on common ability on common insight for the works of your hands to begin to produce fruits hallelujah hallelujah listen look at me please help them how many of you are trusting god to restore something that has left your life it can be anything how many of you are trusting god i want to release that grace now and i want you to believe it some of you had destiny help us but something happened and they left your life some of you had quality relationships but it left your life some of you had finances but it left your life some of you even had certain levels of graces the lord is asking me to prophesy restoration Kai, this is going to land on people's head i'm seeing this thing there are physical gifts you used to see in your life not gifts of the spirit not just gifts of the spirit gifts gifts endowments for some reason it disappeared some of you are actually worshippers singers but that grace left is coming back is coming back i invoke the grace that he has put upon my life i prophesy strange restoration i call it by name and i command it back to your life i call it by name everything you once were that you now are not I command you to become it now. I command you to become it now. I release that grace. I release that grace. Receive it. I release that grace. I release that grace. Hallelujah. Now listen. Listen. There are some of us, hear me. You have been doing certain things. But the anointing for what you are doing has not yet come on your life. This is a very serious prayer. I want to pray for you. You have been doing business with the brain of a money monger, but not the grace for the marketplace. You have been singing only with the voice of a musician, but not the spirit of David. I want to release the anointing of your office. The anointing that has to do with your function. Please, I want you to believe what I'm praying hear me hear me hear me it's one thing david was anointed to step into his office are you anointed for what you are doing i know you are working you want promotion 
is there an unction you are working with or are you just working with certificate at the count of three i want you to shout jesus there will be distribution of graces it's like an alignment the anointing the oil of your call the oil of what you are doing is about to locate you father in the name of jesus i pray right now whoever is functioning without an anointing functioning without the oil i stand upon this ground and i prophesy at the count of three may the grace that will distinguish you come upon you get ready now one one two two three receive that grace now take it take it grace grace for your academics grace for the ministry grace Help me. The chains are gone. God help me now. Hey, hey, hallelujah hallelujah please i'm seeing something happening here right now there are people who are receiving grace for speed and they will start running physically hold them hold them so they don't injure people i release the grace you won't control yourself physically running speed physically i release that grace now receive grace for speed receive grace for speed right now right now i command you to run run in the spirit catch up catch up catch up by the power of the holy ghost in the name of jesus i release speed i release speed i release speed speed to your life speed to your destiny speed to your life speed to your destiny your life speak to your destiny the words you speak come things around your arms run like Elijah run like Elijah you took away the chain Much more than I desire. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. We are going to pray for the sick now. Listen. Please. Three things. Let me just give three instructions. Hold on please everyone. The worship team will continue right now. Now we are going to be very fast about this. Number one. Number two. Please. If you have not written your prayer request or the ones of your loved ones please i permit you put on your phone and call them tell them to send it as a text message write it we are going to be praying here tonight and we're going to be asking the fire of god to fall on request don't assume if you have not written it no problem settle down think well and write you are here you are trusting god for healing i understand there are a few sick people that they brought around 
please we are going to do it this way if your case is very sensitive then you can bring them to the front here but those outside please just walk to the um well there are a lot more people outside really well for those who can come in let's see but for those who may not make it you can walk to the front and then down there i'm here pastor jakes is here um we'll just station ourselves one one and then the other people will just support so that we can do it very fast praise god thank god pastor jakes is here and jimmy is here hallelujah praise god hold on so outside you can just walk at your various projector stands and stand there for those who have come in just allow them don't stop them let them come in that does not mean everybody will stream in please are we together if you're standing just stand trust god if they don't ask you what is wrong with you don't worry they just lay hands on you praise the lord Ejimi, please you help us Ejimi will be outside here and pastor jakes will be down outside there praise the lord benga you go with pastor jakes you will help pastor jakes outside um pastor alpha you'll be outside just help them and then um who is around again is femi around okay so you can just come and help me here so let's do it that way very fast very very fast if there are more people there see promise is here michael is here so maybe you can add one okay promise just follow promise follow pastor jakes michael follow a jimmy please let's do it very very fast while hold on please don't be distracted don't cut the flow we are going to be very fast at this and we'll pray and then i'll speak over your life many miracles are happening even whilst you are seated don't be distracted i expect you to be writing your request and be praying in the spirit hallelujah for those stationed at different points whether at the back any of the overflows i'd like you to believe god for a miracle right now believe god for a miracle you can see someone like our daddy he has come with his crutch believing god to walk you believe you walk sir you believe the lord will heal you so get ready to walk you see there are people stationed around we are going to pray this will be very very fast and then the lord will help us in the name of jesus christ hallelujah father thank you let me start with our daddy first how long have you been like this sir six months stroke who brought him who came with our daddy you came by yourself sir came by myself by yourself from where sir was station here yeah. you cannot walk i can move with you this walking stick which but of the legs has a problem this is the leg this is stroke yes can you lift it no i can't i can't the hand, I can't lift hold it. on look at this sir look at me you believe in jesus i believe you believe in the power of I jesus believe. lord i introduce your kingdom to this man's life right now in the name of jesus christ huh the lord will begin to touch you your hands everything is already dead sir lift your leg lift your leg just do what i'm asking you to do lift your leg just lift it lift your leg lift your leg start try to walk gently come Come, try to walk gently. Come, give me the stick. Look at me. Look at your stick. Come, come. come. Don't be afraid. Come. Lift your leg. Look at this. Look at what is happening to this man. Came with this stick. Look at this. 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 a chair and just keep him let him sit down while the power of god touches him sir you came here by yourself um trust him okay and the boy has gone okay he's somewhere 
in the name of Jesus Christ, the God you believe has begun this miracle. You will perfect it. Look for a stick for him there. Hold your stick by yourself and go. Don't put it on the ground. Hold it up. Walk by yourself and go. Give Jesus praise. Look at what God is Heal now in the name of Jesus Christ. The Lord is destroying witchcraft in your life in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Someone is still sick here. Someone is still sick here. I'm feeling the healing anointing pulling out for me. Someone is still sick here. No, 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 no. I'll pray for you. But I'm saying, I feel it within this vicinity from ministers roll down, choir. Someone is sick. Come, let me pray for you. You came out. Lift your hands. Jesus. Someone is sick here. Someone has to be healed here now. Someone is sick here. I know when the anointing has released me to do something else. I still feel that someone is sick. Someone is sick. Someone is still sick. Lord, let that person be healed. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. This is a miracle service. Just this vicinity. I sense it's like, you know how someone is pulling your cloth? Jesus said, virtue has gone out of me. That's what I'm still feeling. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. There's a gentleman here. Your elder brother has a case. I may not be able to mention the case. This is a health-related case. But this is a challenge with married people. This has affected, it's one of the worst things that can happen to a man in marriage. And the Lord is bringing a miracle right now. Right now. Elder brother. Supernatural miracle. It's coming to that person. By the power of the Holy Spirit. You are holding her but something is leaving her to you now you who is holding her something is leaving her to you there is there is virtue i see a transference of grace from a jimmy's wife to you you are doing your work as an usher but you have received something very strange and very powerful you see let me tell you something if if you do not you see hold on walking in the anointing is more than having it having the anointing is very different from being able to navigate the pathways of the anointing if not you will be anointed but you will not be able to dispense it fruitfully because you are just guessing it's like a man shooting anyhow you must have discernment many people think all it takes once you can speak and someone falls they say i am anointed what do you know about the anointing the anointing is more than releasing something mysterious to somebody it must accomplish something this you need more discernment than even the anointing the substance the ability to look at for instance like these people who have been touched now you are an anointed man of god you are finished praying you go to the next thing you see insensitivity in the spirit this is not guesswork if you are guessing you will not see the results like this it's not it's not guessing so please learn it i know that this is a place where we value the anointing and there are many of you you are waiting for me to prophesy release impartation after this now it's not it's not just about holding people ah hold this lady hold Mukhtar's wife an anointing is coming on her please hold her her and matter two of them there is i don't know what it is but i'm seeing i don't know why god is doing this thing Hallelujah. God, God is giving two of them strange favor strange favor I see strange favor strange favor America God is giving you access I'm seeing you like a crown coming on your head 
and God is saying he's giving you strange access strange access strange access strange access strange access Muas, God is giving strange favor strange favor strange favor hallelujah I don't know what I'm saying but this is a word for someone and the Lord is saying why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year why make it next year when I have destined it to be this year this is the word of the Lord why make it next year this is a word for many people when I have destined it to be this year as I speak to you the word is for you the power of God will locate you. Why make it next year? When I have destiny to be this year. It's the year of triumph. It's the year of triumph. Why make it next year? Just allow me to do my stupidity. Why make it next year? When I have destiny to be this year. Why make it next year? When I have destiny to be this year. My God. hallelujah there is a lady here you have been disappointed with god right now you actually came help the ushers you came expecting that i would directly call your case and you 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 prayed this thing but now it looks like we're about to pray and i didn't call your case the power of god is coming on you now now as a sign that god had you now wherever you are he's locating you now now i command that spirit to leave you i see you in the spirit go now in the name of the lord jesus christ i stretch my hands now and i command by the power of the holy ghost let her go now peace to your spirit every devil carries his nonsense and lives with you right now in the name of jesus christ hallelujah pastor jake is still being outside okay we can just do it this is a listen there are two moments in every miracle service you should not miss ah, there is i mean god is just doing certain things it's like something is really happening don't worry about what is happening impartations god see let me tell you right now if the anointing comes on you just know that is the answer to your prayer this is not a special once the anointing comes on you just know that your prayer has been answered you understand this is what it doesn't mean if the anoint if you don't fall down it's not answered i'm not saying that but i'm saying this is how god is choosing to confirm to some people now as i'm talking that your prayer no matter how difficult it is no matter how difficult your prayer is hallelujah praise the lord now everyone Please stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. Please, Pastor Jakes, come. What do you mean? Please, okay, he's writing something. Just stretch your hands here and pray. And pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands and pray in the Holy Ghost from the depth of your heart. Stretch your hands. Shakatopakata. Leketeketekete. Stretch your hands here and pray in the Holy Ghost. No, Liva, pray in the Holy Ghost. Stretch your hands. Pray in the Holy Ghost. 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 Prophesy in the Holy Ghost. Shake it to go to to get up. Rakata kata makata. So poto so peke te te te. Miracles so God. Testimonies so God. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders. Signs and wonders, signs and wonders, we prophesy it. 
We prophesy it. We prophesy it. We prophesy it. Visit impossible situations. I tell you, God is moving. I see a cloud. I see a cloud over this prayer request. That's what I see in the spirit. God is moving upon it. Moving upon it. Moving upon it. The spirit of God is moving over the prayer request. Visiting families. Releasing angels. Releasing angels. Visiting the request. I'm seeing the cloud of God's presence. Visiting the prayer request. Savior, he can move a mountain. My God is mighty to save. He is mighty to save. Forever, author of salvation. He rose and conquered the grave. Jesus, sing it one more time for God. Savior. Mighty and everlasting Father, Master of the Universe, the God that answers by fire. We receive answers by fire in the name of Jesus. Angels of God, are you not ministry spirits sent for to minister to the heirs of salvation? We receive angelic ministration and direct answers from heaven now in the name of Jesus. The heavens over these requests are open and answers come speedily in the name of Jesus. It has been decreed, it has been ratified. And it is done in the name of Jesus. Lord, we say thank you. Lord, we say thank you. We say thank you. Exceedingly, abundantly, above all that we ask, above all that we imagine, is done in the name of Jesus. We give you praise, Father. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. In Jesus' name we have decreed. Give Jesus praise. Give Jesus mighty praise. Hallelujah. Please, you may still come. Pastor Jake's come. I just feel like doing this is. I, I don't always do this, but I want to prophesy over your lives. And in the name of Jesus, they are my friends. But the Lord is telling me to speak over their lives. They are great men of God in power. But in the name of Jesus, the Lord is saying I should prophesy the next dimension. To prophesy a new level. And in the name of Jesus, I speak it. Step into a new dimension. A Jimmy, God is saying I should release grace for access. I command that grace. Strange access. Strange access. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Strange access. Gifted men coming into your life connections with gifted men in the name of jesus and pastor jakes god is giving you influence strange influence strange influence strange influence strange influence is a very strange apostolic dimension of influence lord i pray in the name of jesus that you will bless them wherever your wives are i bring them into this experience now 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 wherever they are i prophesy to tosin wherever she is and i speak to hope you are one so i prophesy as it happens to you i bring your wives into this experience in the name of jesus strange levels of access strange levels of access strange levels of influence hallelujah hallelujah 
let me do this just once i spotted lizzie somewhere one of the oldest year nine lady come she came in from abuja part of the founding people that started this ministry all the way and the lord is saying i should prophesy a release i told you about ladies who used to climb trees when this ministry started no money no nothing they were in welfare they were in worship team at the same time they would climb trees and pluck the firewood for cooking for us for the crusades and the lord is saying i should pray and prophesy and open up a new dimension that it is for her does not mean you cannot receive it you see the thing with prophecy is the moment there is hunger it will still land on your head praise the lord father in the name of jesus i lay my hands right now over lizzie and lord jesus i prophesy i prophesy according to the word that you are giving me i open up a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter shabaka toto barekete zat kaska paskata paskate pash legete to soto preteke skopari adabalaraba a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter and as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter a new chapter a new chapter as many who desire to drink of this grace a new chapter in the name of jesus a new chapter listen i prophesy to you a new chapter by the power of the holy ghost hallelujah please lift your hands we're rounding up who is this girl come you god has chosen to visit you come come and stand here god is wiping your tears this prayer i'm praying for you will open the tulip gates of your destiny i lay my hands upon you and i command the gates to be open now I stood there and I saw you and the Lord said I should open that gate. I lay my hands upon you. I command the gates to be open. Be open right now. Be open right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Be open right now. We're rounding up. We're rounding up. Please, this lady with uh, yellow, blue, you come. I don't know you but the Lord is asking me to pray for you lift your hands this is a real prayer to usher you into a strange realm of blessings I lay my hands and I remove the embargo from your destiny in the name of Jesus Christ I command I, I, I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you I'm praying for you but I'm seeing my hand on you Jesus, please visit them. Strange visitations. In the name of Jesus Christ. Strange visitations. Lift your hands, please. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Ah. I just saw a door open and I saw a name come out. Listen. I saw a name come out and I saw the Okalo family. The Okalo family. This is Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. Okalo family. God is visiting your people. All three of you. Step into that grace. I open that door now. The Okalo family. Step into that grace. Open, 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 open. I open that door. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. An age long witchcraft broken over your family. I prophesy to you in the name of Jesus a dramatic restoration of everything that by the power of witchcraft has tied you down. Whatever has covered your glory, I speak it right now in the name of Jesus let it be open 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 I unveil your glory I unveil your glory 
I unveil your glory. Shakatatata. I unveil your glory. I unveil your glory. Tonight is a strange night. Please receive every prophetic word that I'm going to pray for you. Ah. Just allow me to do one more thing. The Spirit of God, I have not seen this in a while. I'm now seeing the map of Nigeria and I see Benway State. The Spirit of God is going to Benway right now. Right now. Touching people. You know how it happens when I speak. Benway, Benway, miracles. Locate them now, oh God. People from Benway, Benway, strange grace. Strange grace. I break witchcraft, Benway. I'm seeing Benway. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right. I'm seeing, I know O to Co, but I'm seeing the O, A. A at the, is there a place like that? O to Pa or something. The power of God, I'm seeing that. Going to that area. The Lord is bringing a miracle. Ends with an A. Whoever comes from that region, in the name of Jesus, breakthrough, 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 strange breakthrough, strange breakthrough. Benway, Benway, Benway. I don't know why God is doing this, but I'm prophesying it. May the angel of the Lord's presence step into that place. Hallelujah. I'm seeing another name on the map. Emo. 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 Where are they, oh God? Emo. 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 Emo state. Emo state. The anointing of the spirit locates them now. Strangely. Matato Sotota. Emo state. Miracles. Miracles. Breakthroughs. Signs. Wonders. Miracles. Miracles. To Emo state. By the spirit of the living God. Hallelujah. If you are from Cross River. Cross River. Calabar. Something is happening right now. Cross River. Cross River. Cross River. Cross river. Help her. Help her, please. Hallelujah. Please lift your hands, everyone. It's the ministry of signs and wonders. Let me talk to you, my dear. This lady looking at me. You, come. The Lord has located you today. Come. Lift your hands. The Lord says I should tell you for shame. He's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. For shame, he's bringing laughter to your life. Lift your hands. We are rounding up. You've heard me say it again that this is the most powerful part of the service. I want you to believe it. Hallelujah. By the grace of God, the anointing flows through me to you. And I know when the anointing is heaviest. It's only because many of us are already used to some of these things. And so you think when these things are happening, you don't judge the anointing just by physical manifestations. I want to pray for you. Please receive everything I pray for you. Every age-long challenge, every challenge that has refused to leave, Shapakata, Kaparato Sabade Alana, I prophesy upon it right now. I command that it comes to an end in your life now. 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 That fair lady, come. This lady, Tyler. Run, come. Lift your hands. I'm still praying. In the name of Jesus. Listen. Whatever has brought shame and dishonor like a stigma to your life i roll it away right now in the name of jesus i roll it away right now in the name of jesus 
I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. I roll it away right now in the name of Jesus. My dear, look at me. I saw you inside the cave and I'm surprised because we've paid for, for deliverance prayer. And I saw you inside the cave. You are just trying to push the door. That's why I asked you to come out. Let me. I don't know you. Do I know you? Where did you come from? Damagadi. Where? Damagadi to Kutuku. Where is that? I don't know. Here in Zaria. Yes. I'm going to pray for you. God is bringing a major breakthrough. Two things. God is going to throw somebody out of your life. Amen. I'm not a prophet Amen. of group, but it will happen. He will reach three days. Huh? Throw Amen. completely so that you can move forward. Amen. I hold your hands. In the name of Jesus, every deceiver of your destiny will drive them far from you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. You need to love Jesus with all your heart. Right? You are a nice person, but your relationship with Jesus, you, you can get teachings after this, but I want to prophesy on your life. God is taking somebody, not there though, just driving somebody out, an unwanted person out of your life. I prophesy the kind of favor you have never seen i lay my hands on you and i provoke the heavens to release that favor for you in the name of jesus christ i decree and declare over every family represented here whether your nuclear family your extended family hold on i don't know what has gone wrong but in the name of jesus within now and miracle service match dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families dramatic turnaround for families in the name of jesus one of the mysteries responsible for open doors and new levels is the irrefutable ministry of destiny helpers i want to pray for you i don't know where they are but one thing I know is they never come on their own. They are called by prophecy. I prophesy to the north. I prophesy to the south. I prophesy to the east. I prophesy to the west. The helper of your destiny. I command them to appear now. 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 Hallelujah. Come. Come and hold my hands. Congratulations. I'm seeing a job. This is what I'm seeing. I'm seeing a very good job. And the Lord is saying I should congratulate you. Look at me. You will stand here and testify before the people of all the Holy Ghost said I should tell you is congratulations and I hold your hand in the name of Jesus Christ may it come to pass I decree and declare the results you have not had in 10 years put together in the name of Jesus Christ the son of the living God in one month 30 days I stand here under the unction of the Holy Ghost 30 days beginning from today step into those results step into those results ah, yeah, 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 yeah. step into those results step into those results strange dimensions of results hallelujah whoever has despised you whether to your knowing or not to your knowing i pray may God put them on the scene as he lifts you may they watch your rising as God honors you I pray for anyone here whose spiritual life has gone down prayer life down your praise and worship life down fasting down word life down in the name of Jesus Christ I activate fresh grace receive it fresh grace fresh fire outside receive it fresh grace fresh fire fresh grace hallelujah wherever your prosperity is i pray may listen listen hagar carried ishmael and they were roaming around the desert they said there was no water 
But when an angel appeared, all of a sudden they saw water. That you have not seen it does not mean it's, there, it's not there. I open your eyes to see where God has anointed to bring you financial blessings. I open your eyes in the name of Jesus. I open your eyes to see where God has placed your prosperity. Hallelujah. The plague of death that is looming around this nation, looking for people and families, is listen, it's like a graph. It rises, then sometimes it relaxes. I'm praying. Whoever calls your name, I'm prophesying this all, whether in the secret or the open, to invoke death upon your life, I command the earth to open and swallow them. I command the earth to open and swallow them. Whoever prophesies that it will not be well with you, may misery follow them. The Esther anointing, the unction and the grace that granted Esther uncommon access in the presence of Ahasuerus, Shababa Satalakata, in the name of the Lord Jesus, I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny right now. Take it. I release the Esther anointing upon your destiny. Hallelujah. Two more prayer points and we are done. Hallelujah. Listen. Listen. Many of us do not understand the mystery of spiritual defense and protection. Listen. I want to pray something that is very powerful in your life. Listen. When you are in trouble and there is nobody to show up for you, it's a cause. Are you hearing what I'm saying now? The Bible says, defend you in the day of trouble. There are many of us, if for any reason things go wrong in your life, you are in trouble. There is nobody that can arise as a defense. But I'm prophesying to you right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, whoever must arise and defend your cause in the presence of your helpers and in the presence of your persecutors, I call them forth right now. In the name of Jesus, may God raise men to be a wall of defense for you. In this wicked, um, wicked state that we are living right now in this country, people say if you don't have anybody, and honestly speaking, somebody can get up and come and seize your land. You and your land and your paper, they will collect it because there is no defense. I'm prophesying again. Quarter to shame. May God raise a defense for you. And finally, I want to pray the prayer of Jabez for you. Many of us, ha, many of us have not studied. Honor is not money. Listen, listen. There are many rich people with no honor. Are we together? There are many well-to-do people with no honor. Do you know what honor is? Honor is when God anoints men to lavishly discern and celebrate what you represent without reservation. So for every one person who talks nonsense, there are thousands. Honor. Jabez said, oh, the, the mother bore him in sorrow. You brought shame for me. So I call you Jabez. Honor is more than money, brothers and sisters. The Bible says a good name is better than riches. I pray the mantle of honor that by the grace of God has rested upon this ministry in the name that is above all names for as many who have the grace and the discernment to receive take that man to right now take that man to right now they don't have to know you but strangers will come to feed your flock receive that grace for honor hallelujah Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands to Jesus and praise Him. Wave your hands.
Thank you, Jesus. We bless you. We lift our hands to the great I am. Who was and who is and is to come. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of